Hi, everybody. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Um, welcome back uh, to round three. How is everybody doing today? Um, I'm going to take myself off screen here and just let Andrew let it rip here for a sec. I uh, just wanted to say hello. Uh, welcome back, everybody. And without further ado, Andrew, um, no need for introductions. Everyone knows you're, why you're, I can't speak. Anyway, I'm going to let you go on screen. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Happy uh, holiday weekend. Happy Easter to those of you who uh, think of it as Easter and uh, happy lots of chocolate eating um, uh, uh, either way. Anyway, um, welcome to the House of Hope. The House of Hope, such a tease. So we're going to be doing lots more signing today or as many as um, I can sign uh, reasonably in, in what time we've got before we all expire. Uh, and uh, I'm in a slightly different environment. I'm in, um, I'm flat sitting for my daughter, who's away in Morocco. And I'm also, I don't know if you can hear that scampering in the background. I am not just flat sitting, I'm cat sitting. And uh, they've just been fed, so they're full of life and probably out hunting very soon. Uh, who knows? You know, who knows what? predatory instincts are going to be revealed during the course of this streaming and who's to say i won't be part of the predatory goings on right so let's get on with it and right okay let's see what we what we're doing let's see what we're doing I already let them know that we're going to have to see the cats at some point, guys, but they're yeah, scampering was, around right now. <laughs> I was just thinking, um, shall I, what's the best thing to do? Can I just turn this around? Why don't I just turn this around? I don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you can turn it around. They're out there somewhere. Cats? Duke? <laughs> Oscar? Now they're hiding. You got to do the. You got to do the noises. You got to do the the. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. One. Three guys. <laughs> you guys go. <laughs> Oscar. Got the other one. Oh my goodness! Hello. Oh, they They're are black really. panthers. They're leopards. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay. There's the other one. <laughs> they don't know what to do. There they go. There they go. There they go into the garden. Hunting creatures, no doubt. Checking it all out. That's it. They got their keys. They'll be back when they're ready. One's gone. Second one's gone. Here we go. Embracing the guys. I want you to do some signing. Come on, guys. Don't go now. What's some <laughs> signing to do? <laughs> no wonder they're behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. They're on the hunt. That's a beautiful like garden. Wild. Yeah, this is a, um, there are several flats here, so this is a shared garden, but it's been a lovely day here. First spring day, it's been incessant rain most of the week. But um, there we go. Um, it's like a wildlife documentary. I feel like we're, um, you know, we could be doing a David Attenborough show. <laughs> they'll, they'll, be, they'll be back probably with their friends. So we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, we can... Uh, Oh, it's him again. It's a human. Oh, that's not very interesting, is it? Right then. Right then. All these lovely prints are here. And a few posters, too. We'll leave the posters there for now. Gosh, how... Uh... Right then. Then. 
So this first one I've got here is uh, number 73. Um, and this is to Leah. Is it, would you agree with that? Campbell, you concur with that? Yes. I concur with that. I'm, I'm looking, okay. I see he is the first one with uh, Vince, Saints, Mira, and uh, Julia, and then Melissa on deck. Fabulous. Yep. I think we're on the same web page. 73. Um, that is Leah with L E A H. L E A H. Yes, indeed. And Leah says, Can you doodle a little Raphael and Harlow? Well, I, uh, I can try. What would you like them to be doing, Leah? Or shouldn't one ask? Okay. Um, Leah. Um, um, are we going to be finishing all VIPs today? Uh, we're definitely going to try it. Uh, to any that we don't get to, um, we're going to upgrade those folks with a nice little private video that I showed uh, Andrew how to do um, at a certain point. Oh, there's a mosquito in my room. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know how it got in. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, we're, yes, we're still working on VIPs, guys. This is still VIPs. <laughs> You guys are awesome. This is a good problem to have, but you know, uh, one that we're sorting through right now. Campbell, when are you streaming next? When am I streaming next? I don't know. Uh, so is this the final stream? Uh, possibly final stream for a little while. Um, I don't think it'll be the end. Andrew and I were talking about that, but we are um, going to try and get through as many as we can today, at least for the VIPs, but it might be a few weeks before we can get like another like actual live going. So I wouldn't call it the final, final stream, but uh, probably final for a little bit. Um, for the off-camera orders and things, we're going to be getting through those and making sure they get shipped out soon. And for the rest of the VIPs, for any that we don't get to today, we're going to try and get uh, like personal videos out for those who need. Well, man, that's because I get off at five. You know, I can't, I can't be, I can't be streaming at work. So here we go, Leah, um, from the devil you know, and there's a little doodle, little devil doodle, and that's kind of, kind of, best I can do for Harlow, I, I didn't know. He's, he's very hard to, very hard to get, he plays hard to get, it's shocking, there we are, okay, so, um, So, okay, and the next up is Vin. Thank you for the lovely artwork, by the way, um, that, that everyone has been sending. Please do keep being creative. It's marvelous. Still in denial. So this is Vin says, please write. Still in denial, are we? Cute. And doodle some hearts and a little mouse. Going to get it tattooed. Wow. Doodle, I mean, doodling a mouse around here is dangerous because we're going to end up in the cat's jaws if I do that. But, you know, I'm too nervous. Only just because I see a few people in the chat asking. Um, so what are the chances for non-VIP today? Uh, I won't sugarcoat it, guys. Probably pretty low. Um, we got to get through a lot today. Um, I'll discuss with Andrew if we want to do another stream at some point. Um, but we're going to try it. Our, our first priority is getting these uh, VIPs done at the very least and then getting those off camera ones. And then uh, we'll see what the schedule is looking like again. As I always say, Andrew's a very busy man. 
So uh, we will see what we can do. Oh yeah, and uh, Teresa, I saw yours. Yours is still a, about two hundred and eighty. That does not mean you are two hundred and eighty orders away. That just means that that's your order number. Um, there's hopefully a pretty healthy chance we can get to yours today. Um, but I'm going to make sure I'm not distracting Andrew too much today, so I might be a little more hands off uh, and just talking while he's signing. Well, wow. okay. Then here we are. Still in denial, are we? Cute. Cute. There we are. And there are some hearts underneath Raphael's name. And that, that is a mouse. But, you know, there could be a real one any minute. <laughs> So there we go. There we go, Vin. Thank you very much. Here we go. And now it's to now we've got Saint. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Saint. I see that. <laughs> yeah, good well, choice, Saint. Holy week. It is Holy Week, isn't it? So why not? This is one five one. Saint says, squeak, 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 squeak. Hi, Mr. Wincott. Could you please sign Gaslight Gatekeep, Girl Boss? Wow, okay. From Raphael and and, and, your, and your wonderful self. I don't know who uh, possibly who would that be. Thank you kindly. Cheers. Well, thank you. Thank you, Saint. Here we go. I wish I could explain that one to you, Andrew, but uh, there's so many layers to go behind it that we'd be here for 30 minutes. Right, okay. My daughter's messaging in from far distant climes of Morocco. She's replying to my message. I'll check that later. Uh, right, what am I doing here? Uh, squeak, 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 squeak. Uh, so I'm signing um, to Saint Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. Okay. <clears throat> I know what gaslight gaslighting is, and I know what gatekeeping is. Girl bosses figure that out you know <laughs> gaslight <laughs> but specifically gatekeep girl boss in that order Here we are, I guess, yeah, to Saint. Um, you're a little mouse, clearly. Squeak, squeak. Hi, Mr. Winter. I just read that. Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. There we go. Signed by Raphael and, and me. Okay. So, on onwards. And this is. M M Miara or M Mera? Miara? 
what um, Miara says, thanks for your hard work, Mr. Wincott. Well, not at all, not at all. It was a pleasure, all of it. May I get something that you think Raphael would say to a warlock of his? You are a blessing. Um, what do you say that? You are a blessing. I don't know. What, what would um, Raphael say to a warlock? I, I'm getting deja vu here, actually. Are we, have I read this before? Or you, uh, I think you asked me about this a, a long time ago. Um, what did he say to a warlock? Um, I have to do it in a way that's safe for work. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What would Raphael say to a warlock of his? Probably something like, yes, yes, you're doing great, darling. <laughs> would he say that? I feel like it, just in a condescending way. I'm just looking at the chat. Um, we've got Don't Disappoint Me, Listen Here, Pipsqueak, Yas Queen Slay. That would, I wouldn't do that one. Um, say one of the, what, say, tell me those again, Campbell. What, what was that? So the, the one I came up with was, yes, darling, you're doing great in a condescending way. There's don't disappoint me. Listen here, pipsqueak. Don't make me scorch your fingertips. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't let me don't scorch your fingertips. Me, don't disappoint me seems to be popular. Don't disappoint me. Yeah. Don't disappoint me, pipsqueak. How about that? Yeah, that's that's that great. Yeah, don't. No, no, I think don't disappoint me, pipsqueak. Okay, Mira, 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 don't disappoint me, Pipsqueak. There we go. Down came the claws. And that, love, was that? The cats are always saying that to me. Um, okay. Don't disappoint me, Pipsqueak. So we've now got um, Julia, Julia, spelled G-I-U-L-I-A. Um, this is also down came the claws. And, uh, down comes the claws, 180. We're on to 180. And Julia says, could you please write the quote, am I a friend, potentially, an adversary, conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. And then says, you're so talented. Oh, Joel, there, there you are in the comments. Yeah, I see you. That's so, that's okay. Hello. Hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes, indeed. Thank you.
I'll say what's on deck now. Uh, after uh, this person, it's Melissa, uh, Megan, Michelle, Devin, Skylar, Ina, and then a no name, and then Haley. Also, um, I think it was Miranda and Lumina, if I remember correctly. Um, I remember your specific requests. I'll let Andrew know when we get to your number. Um, Hydro, it's Haley with uh, ending with L E I G H. We don't have keeps in the UK. Are they a marshmallow? Yes, uh, the the worst kind. They're they're horrible. Don't eat them. You're you're not missing anything, Julia. Oh, my friend, potentially an adversary, conceivably, but a savior—that's for certain. There we go. Um, someone asked me, uh, "Did the pagan self do anything this weekend?" I did not. Um, I've been missing a lot of pagan holidays recently. Um, sacrilegious i know but i am uh trying to get back into that as much as i can but i don't know much so i'm trying to learn first Poland says hi. Hi, Poland. So this is for 181. This is for Melissa. And Melissa says, could you please write a pocket full of beans and a little love heart? Thank you very much. Okay. I'll do my best. Putting up a question from Unruly Cow for you, Andrew, whenever you want to answer. Um, we know Raphael prefers cats, but does Andrew prefer cats, dogs, or doesn't discriminate? Oh, oh, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Um, pocket full of beans. And a little of heart. Katie, I will absolutely look up Beltane Pie. That sounds actually really cool. My girlfriend's a witch, so I'll ask her to teach me. Oh, that sounds dangerous. It she is. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, here we are. A pocket full of beans. To Melissa, a pocket full of beans. And there is a love heart. Mm, he's looking very contemplative. And there we are. All right, so that is Melissa. That's on its way, or will be soon. Now, the question, uh, do I prefer cats, dogs, or, or don't I discriminate? Well, um, Dogs are very companionable. Um, they require more attention, but they're um, they're amazing creatures, and uh, of course, man's best friend. So they say. Uh, I also love wolves, you see, and they were, they've been bred from from wolves over over the millennia, as as um, to to be our companions. Cats are independent, so they're fascinating, inscrutable creatures. And that's, as I was reminded today. Um, by uh, uh, I was reminded that they that the Egyptians were sort of worshipped them. The Egyptians were fascinated by them. 
they have a stillness but also incredible ferocity and power um and uh speed speed and stillness and and they they look at you with those eyes and uh and, oh, i'm getting quite scared actually where have they gone um they they um they're, they're extraordinary creatures to watch they can be very cuddly and then they'll suddenly disappear and become feral and go and hunt and and bring trophy kills back for you and growl like leopards that's what these two do anyway um you know yes i've got a gift for you here you are well let go of it then and uh yeah no i mean they're, they're incredible um i've uh, and, and I've, I've enjoyed watching these two this week and noting how different their personalities are one's clearly an alpha cat and he goes and sits apart does his thing uh and the other one's uh calmer quieter more affectionate um but but they're extraordinary and then to watch them together they'll curl up together and, and they're like a ball you can't tell them apart but then then one will go out and the other will stay and they, they it is extraordinary isn't it? they there's sort of teamwork going on um no, it's been fascinating so i don't know what the answer is i can't really discriminate because i've enjoyed getting to know these two but i can't say that dogs are not wonderful companionable creatures but they require a lot more work so i don't know does that answer have i have i dodged that maybe i've dodged that, that one I don't know. no i think you, i think you got it i think uh, in a lot of people's heads, my included Raphael and Andrew are synonymous with each other. So it's a. Uh... Um, Raphael probably prefers cats. I think I think I'd say that. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, he's a claw fetishist, yeah. isn't he? Um, you know, he, he'll. Um, yeah, and also he's got that, well, he's, he's got a feral quality. I mean, he's got that charm that cats have. Cats can charm you because they're so gorgeous. But then uh, then suddenly down come the claws. So what can you... <laughs> that's, that, that's what I'd say about Raphael. Right, so this is 182. This is um, for Megan or Megan. Yes, correct. How would you say it, Raphael? How'd you say it in the state, um, Campbell? How would you say it, Megan? We look the same. It's totally fine. Um, I would say Megan. Megan. Yeah. But Megan Markle is spelled M E G H A N. So there's another variation on that. But... There's way too many variations of the name Megan. It's it's confusing. Uh -huh. <laughs> well. The Australians kind of go Megan, Megan, don't they? They say Megan. Right, 182. And you could see that from the way it's spelled. Anyway, uh, Megan, Megan, Megan says, I love Raphael. Can I get a flirty quote and another line regarding a deal in the House of Hope? Ooh. Oh, I might need some help on that. Um, Can I get a flirty quote and another line regarding a deal in the House of Hope? I mean, honestly, you could just do the the what a tease one. Uh, that would feel like that borders on it. Um, charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. I, I, that's, I can enjoy that one. Yeah. Is that flirty enough? I think charmed, that's good. I'm sure, in more ways than one. Uh, Certain people are probably going to want something even dirtier, but I think we can keep it there. I think that's a good threshold. <laughs> and um, another line regarding a deal in the house. Oh. Um. Any thoughts on that regarding a deal? Uh, I 
I don't know if this will help you at all, but when you first in the game said down comes the clause, I thought that that was a play on words of clause as in C L A U S E. Yeah. I don't know if there's any way you could go there. <laughs> Regarding a deal. Oh, pred one predator's back. Um, down come the claws. You think that um, is that sufficiently regarding a deal? I feel like clause, you know, like because devils deal in contracts and such, like lawyers. I might just be setting um, you down a, a path with very little to no avenues, so <laughs> we don't need to go that route. Yeah, okay. Um, Our lawyers, devils, um, depends uh, who the lawyers are defending. That's there's your there's your answer. Say that again. Oh no, I was addressing chat. Don't worry about it. Um, lawyers are devils confirmed. Is that a line? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a line. People are just uh, people are making a political statement. Yeah. There's that Jim Carrey film called Liar, isn't it? And he's a lawyer. And the whole liar, liar, yeah. Lawyer and liar. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a lawyer. I lie. I'm a, and he can't lie, can he? Because he's... No. Some, so, yeah. That's the the conceit of the film. Raphael's favourite programme is Suits. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Well, it may be his. I've never seen it. Although I've read an <laughs> audio book about Meghan and Harry. Check it out. Um, so um, down, down come the claws, is it? Yeah. Yeah. There's Megan slash Megan, Michelle, Devin, Skyler, Ina, Haley, Becca, Lucy, Michelle, Elisa, Thomas, Jenna, Shelby, Tomas, Haley. There we go. Megan. Yeah. Megan, charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. Down come the claws. And that love. Was that done that one? You said that already. Okay. Um, Michelle. We got a few Michelles and a few Haley's in the uh, in the queue today. One eight five. Yes, Michelle's favorite line. Michelle says, can you please add my favorite Raphael line? What's better than a devil you don't know? A devil you do. She says, thank you. I love everything you do. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, thank you. Um, thank you, Michelle. That's one of my favorite lines, too. But you, then you know, that. you know that, don't you? We had um, one ask from Anne Pluta from the Polish community. Um, the Polish community have a pet name for our devil, which is Red Rafawek. 
Uh, could you say it? I think my friends would love it. Wow. Um, yeah, I'll say that, as long as it's not an incantation of some kind. No, <laughs> I don't think so. It could be in trouble. I already said it. So. Into, you already said it. I already said it. So if it's a Beetlejuice thing, you know, I'm already screwed. Uh, okay. R is it, what is it? Rathalweck. What is it? Yeah. Rathalweck. Is that the name? Yeah. Apparently that's the Polish community's Rafa, pet Rafa, name for uh, Raphael. But probably you pronounce, would you pronounce it Rathalweck? Not W Spies. Rathalweck. 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 Anyway. Um, but I've signed this Raphael for um, for Michelle. So there we go, Michelle. What's better than a devil you don't know? A devil you do, even if he's called Rafa Weck. <laughs> Rafa Weck. That could be, you know. Well, you know, when he's on holiday in Poland, that's, that's it, isn't it? He'd check into his Airbnb um, as Rafa Weck, right? They'll say, yes, yes, uh, Mr. Rafavec, welcome to, uh, to, to my house, my casa, my house of help. Oh, no. How did you know? <laughs> that sounds, a, it sounds German almost. Yes. Well, it's, near, it's close to the border. You'll see. It's a Polish <laughs> border. If I try to do Poland, it probably sounds Russian and I don't want to maybe do that too much. So I've done, that's Michelle 185. Right, what's better? And now we come to Devon. Devon. Now Devon's a place as well. So is this to the whole of Devon? <laughs> in, uh, in the United Kingdom. It's, uh, I think, the largest county, second only to Yorkshire. Unless someone corrects me, I could be making it all up, couldn't I? No, oh, I'm, I'm no good with the geography. You know more than me. <laughs> Devon's a surprisingly huge county. It's in the southwest, and a lot of people go on holiday there. Uh, yeah, still part of the West Country. And one of my early uh, theatre, when I first earned one, my equity card, uh, which I had to do in those days. Now it's an open shop with the union, but in those days you had to have a card to work professionally. Uh, <clears throat> I gate crashed an, an audition, started to gate crash auditions. One of them was for a company called the Orchard Theatre Company, which sounds delightfully rustic and rural. It was a touring company based in Devon, Barnstable in North Devon. And I did a Thomas Hardy adaptation called Tess of the Durbervilles. That was my first professional assignment which I was actually paid. I remember getting getting paid during the first week and thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's money for doing this. Because I was just having a great time. And I'd been used to working on the fringe in London. Uh, and then suddenly, yeah, there I was in the West Country, in Devon, and uh, rehearsing this play. Thomas Hardy wrote about the West Country and his vision, in his imagination, it was Wessex. He renamed places, real places in his, but he gave them imaginary names. For example, The Mayor of Casterbridge, famous Hardy novel, Casterbridge is actually Dorchester. That's in Dorset, not Devon, but that's a beautiful county too. Dorchester is amazing. Dev, uh, Dorset. Right, okay, concentrate, 186, Devon. Devon says, please write something over the top that Raphael might say. Everything he says is rather over the top, wouldn't you say? Thank you very much. Your work in the game is amazing. Thank you, Devon. And the song, truly wonderful. Thank you, Devon. Thank you. Um, so something that, that Raphael might say is over the top. Over the top, I'm trying to think. I feel like when he's confronted in the House of Hope, he the pretty violent side of your character comes out, and I'm trying to think of anything that you may have said there, but... Uh, 
You contemptuous creature is pretty good. What does he say? You contemptuous, you contemptuous creature. creature, but it's the part where uh, your player basically makes a line about uh, Harlip and you not being good in bed and things like that, and then your character goes, you contemptuous creature, and you like... You contemptuous creature. Yeah. He says that to deserve it to Harlip. I can't he says it to you. Uh, this is after you've killed Harlan. <laughs> oh. Um, there's that, and then there's I am no mortal, I do not fail. Oh, I like that. I am no mortal, I do not fail. Is there an exclamation? Point. Yeah, Should because I think what I think basically in the game I remember you. Uh, what do you do? You like um. Yeah, you basically make fun of Raphael uh, for failing to get the crown or having it stolen from him, and you're like, I can't remember what you say, but basically you get really angry uh, because they compared you to a mortal. Well, really, yes, of course he wouldn't like that, would he? So is it? Ex, ex, I'm no mortal exclamation mark. I do yes. not fail. Yes. Okay. Both exclamations. I am no mortal. I do not fail. It's making me quite angry. Shocking. Here we are, Devon. I am no mortal. I do not fail. Excellent. Right, okay. And, and thank you for your very kind words. Okay. So, so Skylar, Skylar Bussey. Uh, and and yes. no special instructions. So, um, well, if the if I have carte blanche, if I have freedom to say anything, Skylar, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to write. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> People are mad that I killed Harlop on my first playthrough. <laughs> you did. I did, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't out of hate. It's just I thought they were an enemy and I got I got caught up in it. <laughs> what a tease, says Samantha Renda Ishtar. What a tease indeed. Um, okay. That's to me, presumably. That could be to me, I don't know, because I said I wasn't going to say. Typical gamer duty. That's funny. Well, Skylar, that's what I've written. What a tease. And there you go. And you know what I might do? I might do a little doodle there. Why not? As I haven't done one for 10 minutes. All right, that's for Skylar. There you go. All right, next on deck, we have Ina. Ina. Um, there's a no name after that. There's Haley, H-A-L-E-I-G-H. -E we have Becca, Lucy, Michelle with an accent, Elisa, Thomas Wayne, uh, Jenna, Shelby, Tomas, and then we have the other Haley with H-A-E-L-E-I-G-H. -E -E so that's on deck. 
Okay. It's all happening. This is to Ina, and Ina says, thank you for your incredible work, and Raphael, well, thank you. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. Can you can you please add, says Ina, the devil you know, and doodle a heart. Thank you again, and best wishes. Well, very best wishes to you, and um, Apologies for the silence, folks. There we go. You know, the W you know, and there are three hearts there because you know, I just felt like you deserved them for saying those nice things. <laughs> there we are. Um, that's one, nine, three, you know. Okay. Best wishes to you. Um, yeah, uh, 194, this is to make it up to no one. Is this what you've got, Campbell? Just yeah, it's a no name. Yeah. Uh, they just want the instructions, I think. No name. It's like a Clint Eastwood yeah. movie. You know. They just want doomed, detected, and caught. I can't do it, but you know what it is. Doomed, detected, and caught. Yeah. Um, yeah, the man with no name. Uh, yeah, for those of you who've seen the Dollar Trilogy, Sergio Leone's Dollar Trilogy. Yeah. Clint Eastwood is uh, famously a fan of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> really? No, that would be funny, though. <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great. Well, Timothy Chalamet gave away one of the best game awards, didn't he? Somewhere a month or two ago. But I mean, uh, he is, did. Uh, he did. That's, that's because he used to, weirdly enough, be a uh, uh, like a gaming console reviewer uh, on YouTube before he was an actor. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, a gaming console uh, reviewer. Yeah, well, he would like customize like uh, game console controllers, and he would like review them and put them up and everything. So everyone uh, laughs at him about that now because you know now he's in Dune and everything. <laughs> yeah different kind of spice now yeah <laughs> really oh guys yes I'm sorry about my discord hang on I'm going to silence that my son-in-law's got all the Dune books over there oh really yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, after the first Dune he um well, not the David Lynch Dune, of course, because there was that in the, the 80s. But in, uh, no, the first Dune a couple of years ago, he got into them. He decided he wanted to read the books, um, which is probably quite a good idea because, it's, I mean, I thought it was vision, I thought it was spectacular. Um, and you just had to sort of take everything on board without really knowing what's going on. Well, I didn't anyway. But I thought it was amazing technically. So what am I doing here? No, make it up to no, oh, I'm just in Doom Detection Court, right? Yeah. Looks like really weird. That's what I've been told.
It's perfect. We're making a, we're, we're doing good progress here, Andrew. Good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Doomed, detected, and caught. And, and there, there, is a, there is a kind of a mouse doodle there underneath it. So you can examine if you want to. Great detail. Sorry, let's try and get that. There we go. Mouse, mouse doodle. Um, We've got a Moonvald uh, here uh, who says, uh, because of the interview that you two did, um, they went oh, and bought, yeah. Hi, moon. They went a co bought a copy of the Four Quartets, and I'm very excited to read it through. Hi, Moon. Moon says she's bought the Four Quartets. Yes, she's excited to read Excellent. it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's a, they're, they're great um, poetic meditations on time, eternity, life, death, meaning. Um, they're musically based, musically structured. There's a musicality in the the language, as there is to most poetry. But Eliot, T.S. Eliot, um, was listening to Beethoven's, I think it's Opus 138, and um, it informed, uh, he wanted to write a poem on a musical structure like a quartet. So he wrote the first of what well, he didn't know he was going to write for, but it kind of fits. But... He started to write a poem, which, which became Burnt Norton, I think 1942. Uh, and, um, and in the wake of that, he then wrote East Coker, The Dry Salvages, and uh, Little Giddy. But they're all physically, they all refer to a place, as well as being tied to the seasons um, uh, and, and the four elements. So the final one, Little Gidding, is a place in... East Anglia in the United Kingdom, um, but it's also fire. It, it references Dante's Inferno, and uh, the um, T.S. Eliot was a fire warden in London during the war, so he could see the fires breaking out, um, the bombs that went off, and um, he would uh, send out warnings. He was he was a fire warden on on the rooftop, so he could see the whole of London burning. I think it might have been from the rooftop of his the place where he worked, which was Faber and Faber in, in Bloomsbury, in oh, wow. um, Russell Square, I think. But so, and then the dry salvages is water. East Coker is earth. It's where his um, ancestor, Sir Thomas Eliot, spelt with a Y, came from. That's in that's in Somerset. When I was touring, it's also the West Country. When I was touring with the that company, that charmingly bucolic named company, the Orchard. I actually went to East Coker, and um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's, it's, the, the approach to the village is exactly as Eliot describes it. And Burnt Norton is a country house in Gloucestershire, but they're remarkable poems, and um, they're, they're, I mean, they, even if you don't know what's going on in them, and you sort of do, you sense it, you intuit it, because, um, Eliot said great poetry communicates before it's understood. So you sort of hear that, you feel the meaning, you, you hear the words. It's like listening to a piece of music. You, you can say, well, what did that music mean? Well, I don't know. It was just some notes. I heard it. Well, but poetry works like that too. You hear it, you feel it, you intuit it. You apprehend it as much as you comprehend it in that sense of embrace, embracing it. And um, that's what Eliot was doing. I think they're remarkable poems. I would, I would urge everybody to read the four quartets um, at some point in their lives. And why not now? So let's so let's stop this and we'll have a reading. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to let you know, Andrew. Uh, food is here. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Great, great. Some for me, maybe Campbell. Two. You know, I'm kidding. Does that mean it's someone at the door?
It's Campbell's soup, of course, isn't it? It's Campbell's soup, right? Yeah, we've, yeah. 194. It's an Andy Warhol painting. So in fact, it's, um, it's not food at all. It's just Campbell's soup. Right, this is to none. Oh, oh we've done that one. Oh, now you see, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I have done that one, haven't I? Yes, yes. Yes, right, okay. Um, okay. Um, that was a nice comment, though. Thank you so much for gifting your magnificent voice to our most beloved devil. Well, there we are. The devil we love to hate. Um, but thank you. Kind words. Kind words. This is 195. This is Haley. Uh, and Haley says, add your favorite Raphael quote saying, doodle a little lamb. A little lamb. Um, it's kind of sort of appropriate for spring, isn't it? But. Uh, So this is 195. The devil we love to love, says says Suzanne. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. 195. 195. All right, I am back. Sorry about that. Well done. Actually, you know what? Let me mute so that you guys don't hear bags rustling. What did you get? Or, or, or do you not want to tell us? Um, I got a pretty nice local place. I don't know if it's outside of LA or not. I got Portos, which is a Cuban themed uh, lunch joint, basically. Wow. I'm probably going to mute myself while I'm eating so you guys aren't hearing the detailed smacking of my lips. Um, okay. So doodle, doodle a little lamb. Okay. Okay. Gosh, I'm really being challenged artistically today. Make Campbell laugh. No, I actually wasn't muted that whole time. <laughs> you weren't muted. No, I, I wanted to see if it would come through, and thankfully it doesn't, so I don't have to keep clicking. <laughs> well, Haley, I'm I, there. We are. That's my favorite. That's my um, favorite quotation, or one of them. What's better than a devil you don't know? A devil you do, and that's my excuse for a a, 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 a lamb. Uh, looks more like a sheep, really, or if that doesn't it actually look like anything? But but there we are, and there's the uh, 
the devil lurks within the paint the picture for you there we are marvelous so um okay that's 195 try to concentrate to make sure we get onto the right one now so this is 196 down come the claws this is becca for becca Becca says, hi, can you say this with then down came the claw and that love was that? Or any Raph quote of your choosing. Thank you for your stellar work. Well, well, thank you for your kind words, Becca. So. Down came the claw, and that love was that. Here we are, Becca. Then, um, then down came the claw, and that love was that. And I've also added that from the devil you know. There we go. So we now come to Lucy, and this is 200, 200. It's got quiet here, I don't know if that means the cats are out or they're sleeping. That's them just opening the cabinet or something there. <laughs> okay, this is 200. And Lucy says, can you write such an eager little pup? Please. You are amazing in the game. I have such a crush on Raphael. Oh, I don't know what to say. Um, right, I shall write that for you, Lucy. To Lucy. Such. An eager little pup. Now, does this please? Does Raphael say such an eager little pup? Please, does he say that? What does matter? I don't know if he says. Um, I don't think he says please. <clears throat> I think it's just such an eager little pup. Excuse me. 
Right, so Lucy doesn't actually want that in the quotation. Let me check. Yeah, sorry. I've been eating this whole time. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's, okay. no, that's part of the direction. Just such an eager little pop by itself is fine. So this is Lucy saying, please. I see. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, such an eager little pop. Yeah. Such an eager little pup from the devil you know, Raphael. There we are. There we go, Lucy. And thank you for your kind words, your lovely words. Thank you. Oh, we now go to the see your thing. Oh, sorry, interrupted you. No, not at all. It's another Michelle 201. This is Michelle spelled M I C H E, grave accent, L E. Michelle, it sounds French. I don't know, but 201 is the important thing to write. Uh, yes, she is French. Hello from France. Hello. I would like this quote. Am I, am I a friend, potentially an adversary, conceivably, but a saviour? That's for certain. And she says, can you write that in French? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right. Michelle. to Michelle. Is that the catcher camel? That is me. I apologize. <laughs> Michelle, am I a friend? Potentially an adversary, conceivably, but a savior. That's for certain. There we are. Oh, Andrew, before we continue, just because someone, uh, someone really nice in chat here, mm. uh, Named name of uh, Lucas um, wanted to. He's a little far down, so I don't know if we'll be able to get to it today. So just in case, um, I don't know if you can see this. This is a harlot tattoo that he got um, pretty recently. Oh wow! Well, well, cute. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, let me go full screen. Um, yeah. I think it's a cute little thing. He just wanted to he wanted, he wanted to let you know you got that. Um, 
That's it, though. Um, I just wanted to let, let them know. Lucas, that's for you. I saw you in the comments. Uh, sorry for almost missing you there. Uh, if we don't get to your order today, uh, we'll try and get you a video as soon as we can. Thank you, Lucas, for sharing. All right, I'm going to let you take up the screen again. Give me a sec. Oh, no, did I ruin the stream? Andrew, you there still? Uh, Elisa. Uh, there we go. Poster. poster, right. Two, two or four. Can you please write a verse from a theatrical or literary opera that Raphael would love? What? What? Uh, what? What opera would Raphael? Go on. If you want, you can do the one from uh, the one that you cited from the game that was like I think a fictional poem. What? How did that go? Um, Hydra will probably know it. Um, based, I think when you first meet him, it was like a. I think it was the. And that love was that that one, I think. I, I, all I remember is that you go like, um, oh, they do know how to write them in Cormier or whatever it was. Uh, the, the lullaby. Is it the lullaby? I think it might have been that. People are also saying Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Uh, well, is that is that an opera? Um, but how important is the, is the musical? aspect of it and and <laughs> if it were Dan Dante's Inferno uh, I'm a bit rusty on the Italian um, but oh here, well Kitty Bitty says the mouse smiled brightly is it it outfoxed the cat then down came the claw and that love was that there's a, in fact several people are saying that Samantha saying that the mouse smiled brightly it outfoxed the cat I'll keep that on screen for you. Can you keep that on screen? Yeah. The toast is saying that too. It seems to be very popular. Someone else is saying, Jay is saying Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Um, and I know a lot of you like Phantom of the Opera. Uh, anyway. Uh, the, anyway, the mouse smiled brightly. We're gonna do that. So this is to, this is to Elisa. Can you can you can you freeze it? Um, that's good. The mind is its own place. Kelsey says, "I, I like a heaven of hell or hell of hell." Doesn't that isn't that Milton? Could be. I'm I'm no poet, unfortunately. That's from Paradise Lost. It is, or are you are you quoting? Are you saying it is? That's, uh, so Kelsey says the mind is its own place, and I'm itself can make a heaven or hell. Hell, the I'm itself can make a heaven of hell or hell of heaven, uh, which is from Paradise Lost. Which, yeah, it's marvelous. It's a wonderful quotation, but it's not. It's not. It is literary. Uh, uh, it's not an opera. Uh, it depends. It's. I know it's a wonderful quotation. I yeah. People are saying it's yeah. Milton. Pardon? People are saying it's Milton. They're they're agreeing with you. Paradise Lost. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, I've talked about um, Raphael in in relation to Lucifer, the fallen angel, in Paradise Lost, and Milton imagined Paradise Lost as a um, as a play to begin with, and then it became. Um, but are we do we're not doing that. We're going to do the mouse smile brightly, aren't we? Are we? No, small um, up to you. Um, I, th I think, in fairness, I think the specific ask was from a literary or uh, theatrical opera that Raphael would love. So I think maybe they want to steer away from having something from the game. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do the Paradise Lost quotation. Amazing. Oh, these are really good little sonnets people are dropping here. Great stuff. Like it. So, Elisa, there we are. Um, the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. And that is Milton. And I think Raphael would like that a lot. As his buddy Lucifer has a kind of starring role. The fallen angel. All right, we're starting to push about 20 orders. Making oh, good progress okay. here. Okay. Okay. Oh, something sweet she wanted too. Um, all right, all right. I think I think we'll just about do that. Something sweet. <laughs> yeah, like an Easter egg. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Love it, Picasso. Don't forget to stretch and hydrate chat. You are so right. Uh, after that entire Cuban sandwich I just inhaled, I'm going to actually grab some water real quick. Can you grab some water? I'm going to grab some water because I just inhaled the, the whole uh, mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> I think you should. Such a tease. That's, that's um, on the opposite side from the Milton. Such a tease. So that's for you to figure out whether he's talking about the quotation or a person. So um, that was interesting, wasn't it? A verse from a theatrical or literary opera, okay. Well, thank you, Elisa. That was interesting. Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. So Thomas, Thomas, well, I don't know, weyant or viant. Uh, with no special instructions. Wow, and it's another poster. Another one of these babies. Um. Two oh seven. Thomas. 
right, I'm back. Welcome back. Everyone's drinking water, except for Robin, who's drinking Diet Coke. Nothing stronger than that. Not me. Come not on. me. Come on, there's <laughs> a rum in that. There's a rum in that Coke. I know there is. So, someone. Guys, you heard Andrew get wasted tonight. What's that? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. <laughs> I said, guys, you heard Andrew get wasted tonight. Yeah, get wasted. It's a holiday. That's but true. It's, it's a spiritual holiday. So, well, it could be. I mean, you know, it depends on whether you want it to be. Thomas, there we go. From the devil, you know, because you know special instructions. But, but uh, there's that amazing poster. Yeah. Um, great. Okay. 209, Jenna. Jenna, thank you for your phenomenal work. If you could please write, reply to question. What is Raphael's first order of business when he has the crown of Carsus? <coughs> well, um, it might be to get one of those Cuban sandwiches. I don't know. <laughs> you should put that on there. Have him get a mayonnaise. So. <laughs> you know. um, but that, that may not um, be quite the answer that Jenna's after. I don't know. What kind of... what what. What is his order of business? I mean, I don't think Raphael would, would disclose his order of business, would he? If I remember correctly, in the aftermath of one of the games, if the player sides with you, um, you start by taking over the Hells. You, you're, you start by taking down Mephistopheles. Uh, yes. <clears throat> he does talk about that, doesn't he? And, and in the epilogue, he talks um, about that. Um... Um, yeah, um, oh, no, that's incorrect. Chess correcting me. Sorry. He starts with taking out Zariel and Avernus and then he moved, he's going to move to the other ones. Mephistopheles makes a deal. That's right. He's taking out Zariel first. He takes, he takes out what? Zariel. Uh, the, Zariel. uh, yeah, the arch devil of the first layer, basically. In Avernus, in Avernus. Yes, correct. Mm. Well, and then, and then what's after that? Uh, just moot. He's just dominating the hells at that point. Like other people trying to, other devils are trying to make deals with him. I think his end goal is taking Asmodeus at the very bottom. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think you can just umbrella it to dominating the hells. Yeah. Um, but um, Avernus is the first. Yes, Avernus is the first layer. Okay. Jenna, Avernus first, and then all nine hells. So, but that, but only you. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that. 
you know, if you if you tell anybody, you know, it gives the game away. You know, they'll they'll you know, warned is forearmed. You know, don't 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 help people. Keep it yourself. Right. Um, so that's pretty much not just this first order of business, but all of it. Yeah, and basically, it's all, it's all on that ten by eight. So at some cool. point he gets a, a at some point he gets a midnight sandwich from Porto's, but then eats that. But yeah, you know, for the part, it's the house. The, 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 there's a great there's a great place in Avernus where that you can get that. <laughs> I know that I know there is. All nightmares okay. in Porto, except for the sandwich shop. The what? It's all nightmare and torture, except for the sandwich shop, which is on the in yeah. between. Well, well, well you've well, you got to have a break. You got to, got to, you know, got to have a break for a sandwich at some point. Um, two on three. Two on three. Shelby Lucas, no special instructions. Well, 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 Shelby um, Lucas. Bailey, assuming you are just under Bailey, you're actually not too far off. You, uh, we can probably, we're probably going to be able to get to you today. Ooh, Bon Me is great. Yeah, for those of you who haven't tried Bon Me, try Bon Me. It's amazing. What is that? It's a Vietnamese uh, style of sandwich uh, with a French baguette. Uh, and like pork belly and like greens, uh, onion, it's really good. Oh, that sounds good. Just decided to make an appearance. Hello. Uh, don't think you want to be on the table? There we go, Shelby. Um, from the devil, you know. Dad, you see, um, cats come in just to for down come the claws. So <laughs> the time, time is perfect. I can't see which one this is. Is it? No, I can't. It's um, Duke. That's who it is. The Duke. I'm the Duke. <laughs> and I've come in here to find out what's going on. That's canonically the cat's voice. Do you do you give them the, do you assign your cat a voice? <laughs> do I what? Do you assign your cat a voice? And is that the voice that you assigned to? No, I'm kind of, I'm thinking the, 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 the Duke, the Duke, you know, um, Escape from New York. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Carpenter movie. The Duke. That's right. You know, it's all this, the Duke, and he's running the underworld that, that Manhattan becomes this prison, this high, high security prison, the whole of Manhattan in, in this fantasy world set in about 1980, I think, or something ridiculous, or 2000, or, which we've long passed. But yeah, the Duke. The Duke, but now this is Duke. This Duke, the cats are Duke and Oscar. They're named after the jazz musicians. No, uh, that's that, that. Hence the names. But D Duke is the Duke is the alpha cat, you know. So he's just came to boss me about, you know, you know, because um, I'm I'm at the table and he's not familiar with what's going on. So Shelby, we we've um, so we now Tamash Tamash Zabo. Tamash Zabo, forgive me if that's not the correct pronunciation. Um, and I wouldn't even like to guess, but where, where I mean, that's Middle European. I'm, I'm, I would, well, wouldn't like to guess, but you just did. Why do you say you wouldn't like to guess and then you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> he's not, he's not Middle European at all. It's, um, <laughs> it's New Jersey. Okay, so shut up. 
No, the Duke is New Jersey. Your New Jersey. Where's he gone? He's gone again. Wow, these cats, you see. No, they don't have voices at all, Campbell. They're just present in that silent, silent, insidious, insinuating way, like Raphael. It just creeps up on you. You know, suddenly he's there, you know. My, my, what manner of signing is this? <laughs> Where's my sandwich? I know just the place. Let's go to Avernus first. Cats Sounds eating. Cats, cats grazing on the kibble. Can you hear the crunching? It's either oh, that or the bone. It's I can that hear it. Bones. Very, very subtly, I can hear it. There you go. Yeah. It's either that or the bones of a mouse. Oh, don't. Right, um, Tom, Tamash, Tamash. You see, I'm saying, why am I saying Tamash? Tamash, because I think it is. But you don't know that it is. So whenever I do audiobooks, I have to check everything because you might think you know, but do you know? And you could be wrong. And somebody might be upset. So Tamash is out there going, no, 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 don't say it like that. It probably sounds like the Duke. Don't say it like that. You see, there are accents on this Tamash Zabo. So, you know, I, 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 I'm, you know. Probably at the uh, probably at the end of the stream, I think we'll probably end. Not that we're close to ending right now, but uh, at the end of it, I, I may ask you to read a line for us because uh, I, I, it harkens back to a request someone made earlier, and I think it'll be great. Okay, I, I can do that. I can do that. This is this is two one eight, and this is to Haley, another Haley, but spelt in an entirely different way. And Haley says, "Thank you for your incredible performance." Well, thank you, thank you very much. That's yeah, it's really very kind. My fave line is, "Until it was perfect." Ah, love to you, Raphael and Harlot. Oh, thank you. And can you do Duba, please? Ooh, okay. Okay, m m right. So. To, to Haley, okay.
There we go. Haley, until it was perfect. Uh, and there is the doodle, um, which isn't perfect, I would say. But I can, you know, it's kind of... I've attempted to do horns and wings and, and a tail. Which is kind of a bit weird, really. Oh, this next one go. from um, Haley has a fan message attached to it, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. V view message from fan. Oh, so I click on that. Mm -hmm. is, is this a video or audio message? Probably a video message. Um, you may need to unmute it. Yes. Uh, is, this a, does this, is this personal or... or I think this is uh, I think this is Hydra. Hydra, this is you, right? Uh, do you want him to do this on stream? No. Okay. Well, uh, save that. Save that for private. That's what they're telling me. Can Can I just mute and listen, and then I might be able to respond? Can sure. I mute, yeah. Mute. Just forgive me here for a second. All good. It's you only a few it, seconds. Can... Hang on a sec. <laughs> it's all good, Hydra. Don't worry. <laughs> yep, I said it's fine. That means it, it, I my word is law, guys. That's that's how this works. I'm a dictator. Oh, got it. <laughs> I'm always on the power trip. This went to my head right as I got fan art for the first time from Pete. Absolutely not. <laughs> I could never make it a lot to drink water in a furnace. No. It's okay to be our DM. I might be doing that soon. Uh, stay tuned for that if you guys want to tune in. May also. Well, I don't want to do that on his stream. Campbell, can we get an updated list of who's next, please? Of course. Let me see. Oh, Mal, I think you asked where you were on the list. So I'll have to look in a minute. Sorry. Um, so this one is Hydra right now. Uh, the next one is Tara, Mink, Bridget, Robbie, Vanessa, Maddie, Bailey, Lenka, uh, Julia again, uh, Darcy, my, my dear little mouse, Julia again, uh, Lizzie, Hazel, my contemptuous little mouse, Emma, Megan, uh, Ellie, Marcus, Lumina. Uh, Lumina, I remember what you asked me, so I will make sure that that's not viewed on stream. We've got Wing, Jameson, the Warlock, Camilla, Lilith, Haley, Kalia, Lo, Lonnie, Becca, Little Mouse, Ello, Cooney, and then there's Teresa. Uh, little Flynn, you're probably after that. Uh, Teresa's not the last one. So after Teresa, that's Holly, Sophie, Esperanza, Asina, Mallory, Alexander, Amanda, Mint, Diana, Danny, Miranda, Kate, uh, Visira, Carla, Manny, Suki, Jamie. And I don't know if we're, I'm, we're probably entering the point where I don't know, I think we're going to be able to get that far, but I'll just keep reading the names anyway for the VIPs left. Uh, Noreen, Melissa, Harper, Lucas, Allison, Molly. Alicia, Gemma, Caitlin, Sky, Sophie, Kristen, Sarah, Christina, uh, Debbie, Debbie, 
Jennifer, Kelly, Orion, Mara, Harper, Alex, and then uh, that's when the VIP stop. Um, uh, Campbell, does, does the message send if you reply? I mean, it doesn't appear to have it, gone, the, but... So it's a 150 character limit, so it might be uh, that what you wrote was a little too long. Okay. Okay, that's gone. Okay. Well, again, I, and just to uh, address what I was talking about earlier, again, if we don't get uh, to yours this stream, again, we're going to be getting like private videos out for folks. So if you're still getting a thing, don't worry. Um, VIP will not go unrewarded. Sorry about that. Um, uh, hiatus, if you like. Um, this is to Tara. This is 220. I think this is where we are now. Um, and Tara says, may I please add, become your finest self, all of them. From one becomes many, uh, one becomes many book Raphael writes in game. One becomes many the book that Raphael writes in game. Thank you endlessly for your hard work. Thank you endlessly for your kind words. So I could just say that on a loop. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. No, no, I won't do that. I'll get on with signing this, right? So this is to Tara. Become your finest, finest self, all of them. That's good, isn't it? Here we go, Tara. Become your finest self, all of them. There we go. Okay, um, this is, we're now back to 14 here. Is that, is that what you've got? Yeah, that's, uh, it okay. looks like someone may have bumped the queue. Um, but that's what, completely what? okay. Uh, what no, that's what? normal, don't worry. It's, it's oh, just, normal. we arranged the queue. It got out of sequence, did it? Uh, yeah, that's normal. I mean, 14's on the list anyway. Let me just make sure that that's, an on-camera order real quick it it's not yeah okay yep that's an on-camera order okay so it's just no name uh and then favorite line something delightfully snarky snarky and can i get a heart doodled okay Mr. Wincott gets the bags, he absolutely will. <laughs> he's, he's getting more bags than I, and I am jealous. Uh, 
I agree. I agree with you, Emily. Um, just have to buy some audiobooks, I suppose. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Campbell signing stream went uh, happening pretty soon. Uh, you, you guys asked, and I asked my higher ups, uh, David Vincent, voice of Grimjow, uh, my CEO, is uh, he? He gave me the thumbs up on it, and he laughed really hard. So, <laughs> thank you for the empty bag, Jack. Okay, so I've written the quotation at the top, just for fun. What's better than a devil you don't know, a devil you do. Uh, there you go, That's, the lights caught that. And then I put such a tease and signed it there for you. Okay, so this is to none. This is to none. So, um, well, none, I hope that's okay. Um, no offense intended, none taken. <laughs> Get it? Okay. It's pretty uh, good. Who knows? Maybe they're, maybe they're desperately offended by that, and I shouldn't be making fun of none. What number are we on um, now, Campbell? Where, how we're are we on uh, 226. Um, the numbers aren't fully accurate, though, because we're just taking the VIP orders, so it's it skips around. So it literally, the next one is 226, and then it goes to 231, yeah. 234, yeah. and then I think like it'll leap to like 250. And, and, and in term and in terms of today, how are we doing? Let me see. Um, we should be probably around or past twenty orders by now. So let me just double check. I think we're. I think we're. I think we're some way past twenty. I think. Uh, yeah, we're we're making decent progress to get to fifty. We're about uh, we're about to hit twenty five. So twenty five. Yeah, we're about an hour and a half in. So that. We we do three hours on stream today that we'll definitely get to about fifty. Well, okay. So Mink, this is to Mink. Mink says hi, Andrew, or the or the devil himself. I'm wondering what is Raphael's favorite Shakespeare or other author quote, and how he will express it in his manner. Um. Uh, wow. Um, I wish I could help you with this. Uh, I've only been here. Okay. Oh, go. No, I've got. I've, no, I've got one. I I think the the his I think one that he would like. Is the last line or couple of lines of Iago in Othello, and when he's asked why he's behaved in this, this despicable way, why he's destroyed Othello's life, why he's, he's wreaked havoc, uh, why there are so many deaths, why he's behaved as he has done, um, tried to uh, bring down Cassio, why what's what's motivated this jealousy. Um, or, or, or need to destroy Othello. And he says, what you know, what you know, you know. From this time forth, I never shall speak word. Wow. Okay. Thanks for telling us. But, you know, <laughs> he says, you know, if you know it, you know it. And I'm, but I'm not going to tell you. Why should I give you that satisfaction? And Raphael would, would do some, say something like that. Coleridge wrote an essay about uh, Iago, uh, where he write, he wrote, he described Iago's um, motiveless, the motive hunting of motiveless malignity. So it's not as if Iago doesn't have a motive because he just spins motives sort of, uh, you know, um, or, or, it, 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 it's, he's jealous of Cassio. He, he, he hates Othello. He um, he wanted the promotion that Cassio got. He's really in love with Desdemona. I mean, what, he he's full of motives, but does he believe any of them, or do we believe any any of them? 
And that's the motive. That's it's not this motiveless. It's the motive hunting of motiveless malignity. It's a, it's an enigma. It's a riddle. And that's why it's so brilliant. Demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I never will speak word. And then, and then Iago is imprisoned and tortured <laughs> as punishment for his crimes. Oh, all right then. <laughs> well, it was it was worth it, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to write that for you, Mink, because I think that's very Raphael. Demand me nothing. Sorry for the uh, the silence here, guys. I'm, I'm reading everyone's tweets while this is happening. <laughs> Someone uh, said something that was pretty sweet earlier. I'll read this for you right after you're done there. Sorry. So there we go. To make demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I never will speak word. And that says Iago, because that's the character who said it. The play is Othello, and there is um, signed on this this side. This side. So yeah, that was an interesting um, that was an interesting uh, request, wasn't it? No, I had to think. Um, I had to think. Uh, real quick, uh, someone asked. Yep. I can't pull Mr. Ark with the shirt. Uh, this is from Chris. It says, "Could you tell Andrew, please, that a friend of mine loves his work, especially as Raphael." And it's Tanya's birthday today, so the streaming timing is perfect. I'm not sure who Tanya is, but I'm, I'm assuming they're an avid watcher. Well, Tanya, happy birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. Party in the House of Hope, right? <laughs> Always a party there. Um, this is to Bridget. This is 231. This is to Bridget. And Bridget says, hi, Andrew. I adore Raphael and all his campy theatrical glory. Campy? Really? I don't know what you're talking about. He's not as campy as Harlow. But um, anyway, who's, who's, who's carping? Um, uh, all his campy theatrical glory. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I, I, yeah, you're absolutely right. You got him. You've nailed him. So thank you for doing this. Feel free to write whatever you feel inspired to. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Bridget. Well, you asked for it. Here it comes. You've really done it now. The cam from Cambian. <laughs> What's that? Is that a pun on camp in camp Cambian? He's a Campian. I, I think I, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. He's a Campian. Oh hello, hello, my camp all my Campian Campian friends. <laughs> We're gonna have a yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. I love camp. I'd live for it. Any any Seinfeld fans out there? 
you remember that episode? Not that there's anything wrong with that, where George and Jerry are mistaken for being gay. And they keep saying, <laughs> they, they, they think we're gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. Not at all. <laughs> Just to become that was more a, exaggerated. That was a scarily good Jerry Seinfeld. That was scarily good at Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> That's better than what an American can do for Jerry Seinfeld. That was really good. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I've seen them all, probably. I mean, it was great, great. I mean, they're still being shown. They're still syndicated. Jerry Seinfeld has earned, because, I mean, I just don't you know how I know this, but um, Jerry Seinfeld has earned just short of $1 billion. Really? I mean, that show is so successful. That's but incredible. Somebody's, there's there's someone else who's in showbiz who's earned more. Can't think, just can't remember who it is. But Jerry Seinfeld, uh, it's just. I mean, it was a phenomenal. I loved the, those those episodes, all of them. The 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 first three, he's just well. First couple, he's finding his feet. He and Larry David working together, brilliant. Um, by season four, they hit their stride. I mean, really, season four onwards. I think my, my parents were telling me about a documentary where they were talking about that, where they were just like, for sure, it would bomb after the first season. And then like, it just took off after that. Yeah. And it became the NBC um, anchor, nine o'clock anchor show. Uh, they moved it into prime position because they, they realized just how successful it, it was going to be. No, it's wonderful. It's, I, I love Seinfeld. They're like, um, it's like a sort of, it's like a Neil Simon play that you probably sit in the theatre for two hours, but condensed to 25 minutes, you know, with just as many laughs. And they're it's really clever, smart writing. That's incredible. <laughs> No, I think uh, the, the, I, I don't know why yours is better than I think the average Americans, but it, I think it's because you hit his cadence right. Whereas every American who does a Jerry Seinfeld impression is usually like over exaggerating it. Because <laughs> ninety percent, the average American will just do the like, "All right, all right, I'll go there right now." Like that's how they'll do their impression of uh, Jerry, and then George is just rambling the whole time in just a little little voice. <laughs> Um, George, yeah, um, Jason Alexander, is it? Another great, I mean, love that character of George, all his neuroses, which of course is very much based on Larry David. Um, I remember the soup episode, yeah, I remember the soup episode. I don't, I think everyone knows the soup episode. The soup Nazi. Yeah, the soup Nazi. Soup Nazi. No soup for you. No soup for you. Why? What? I didn't know. What? <laughs> Elaine. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, oh, no, they're brilliant. Anybody's favorite Seinfeld episodes? No soup for you. A whole different meaning. Yeah, right. No soup for you. I think it's that and um, Festivus are usually everyone's favorites. Which one? Fe it was Festivus, as it was called, right? The one where it's like they, they do like a fake Christmas almost. It's oh. uh, dad has like a specific holiday that he, like he made up. Oh, I did. I can't remember that. Is that in a, an early <laughs> one or a later yeah. one? That's a later one, I want to say. Um, we've almost forgot Bridget in all of this excitement. What's better than a W? You don't know a W. Do um, uh, feel free to write whatever you feel inspired to. So I, I would like to share that with you. Um, it's, it's really thinking it. Look, it's thinking. What's better than a devil? You don't. Know. It's thinking it. It's thinking it. Yeah. Um, the contest is a classic episode. I couldn't believe that when I. Uh, do you remember that one? I don't. I, my parents were the same. I only saw like maybe fifteen episodes total. I saw well, the one you, where 
like like you said, the one where everyone thinks they're gay. Uh, the one where like they all somehow develop a crush on um, Julia Louis Dreyfus's character that I'm not remembering for some reason. Um, oh God, uh, what else? Elaine. Elaine, right? Yeah. For some reason, they they all develop a crush on Elaine after they shoot a video. Um, the yeah. Festivus one. God, what else? Soup Nazi, of course. Um, and and it was so successful that the next day, apparently, uh, they'd be you know, maybe walking down the street, um, and and people on construction sites, because everybody watched it. Would, would would be yelling at Jerry or George or whoever, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, and they're waving to these construction <laughs> guys. And and the other one, there's one episode where a character, is it, there's a recurring character of a lawyer or something, he's, he talks really fast, you know, and he starts, you know, what? No, I, what I suggest you do is this. And, oh, no, you know. and, um, and he, eats a, um, he eats a candy bar with a knife and fork. Well, why? But there they are eating the eating the, the, the candy bar the night before. Anyway, the next day, apparently, they would go into coffee shops. There'd be people eating eating these candy bars with knives and forks. It just was a thing. It just caught the caught the zeitgeist. And it ran for nine seasons. Well, Frasier ran for longer than that. Friends ran for ten. But yeah, Larry David left after about season seven. So this is two, three, four, which I'm, am I keeping up with all this? This is two, three, four, this is Robbie. Two, three, four, Robbie. And Robbie says, Raphael is such an amazing character brought to life by you. You sure it's me? Might not be. What would Raphael write to his favorite client that he misses? Hmm. Uh, what would he write? That's a good question. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I'm not sure he'd he'd own up to it, quite honestly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Is like I, I don't know if he'd be that vulnerable. Larry David created Seinfeld. Um, he he co-created it, according to popular. I mean, he and Jerry Seinfeld co-created it. They're credited as co-creating, but Larry David, I'm sure, was a huge part of its success. Um, anyway, back to Robbie's. What would Raphael write to his favorite client that he misses? Mm. I feel like he would, someone said he'd dance around it a bit. I think that's a, yeah, Mal said that. I think it was a, uh, I don't know, maybe This is quite like, good. How have you been, O oh, apple of my eye? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. good. That's very good. Thank you for that, Lauren. Thank you. How have you been, O oh, apple, oh, how have you been, O oh, apple of my eye? Here we go, Robbie. How have you been? Oh, apple of my eye. And then down came the claws. Okay, okay enough of that. How are the cats doing? I don't know, they've gone. They, they're gone or they're sleeping? It's about, it's probably dark there. Do you need to shut the window? You asking me? Yeah. Are they good? Um, uh, the 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 whose window? The cat. Uh, the window where the cat where the cat's grown out of a window, or was that a door? Or was I just blind? The the cat the cats have a window, 
which is always open. Oh, just it's always open. Wow. They, okay. They they have the run of the place. You know, they come in, they take their keys, they go out, they go around all the clubs in the North Oxford. They come back drunk and disorderly. They bring their friends. They bring the little. <laughs> they bring the little mice. I mean, it's like Raphael. Um, and you know, back they come. Uh, the House of Hope, they expect to dine lavishly, um, you know. Um. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so they, they they do what they want to do. I mean, they, they, they really do. Um, you don't have to worry about, uh, like, like mice or anything getting in with the window open? Um, someone's asking if I have cats. No, these aren't my cats. I'm, I'm cat sitting. I'm, cat, I'm flat sitting and cat sitting. They're my daughter's cats. Uh, they... Well, they bring the mice in, Campbell. You know, they they but they're not they're not live mice. They uh, <laughs> they're, they're toy mice to them. Um, by that time, and uh, you know, yeah, they have to be disposed of because they they don't eat them. Um, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if they hoovered them up afterwards. Um, Hoover, Hoover, where's the Hoover? You know. But they don't do that, so yeah, it's a bit gruesome. They're feral instincts, but what what can you do? They're cats. Um, not all cats do it, but um, is it Vanessa now? Two three six. Ah uh, yes, yes, two three six Vanessa, and then Maddie Vanessa, Bailey no and Julianne. No special instructions. What I might do in a minute is put a sweater on and. Um, have a drink or something sure yeah if you might whenever you want to break let me know i'll handle chat uh vanessa special instructions none okay There we go, Vanessa, from the devil you know. There we are. Uh, okay, this is a poster. So I'll do this poster. This is to Maddie. And then I might go and put a sweater on, see what the cats are doing, what depravity and depredations they are wreaking. And um, they've probably gone out, you know. Um, and I'll make myself drink and just pause momentarily. Momentarily, I will. I shall pause. Pause. Cat's pause. It'll be a cat's pause in proceedings. Two, three, seven, Maddie. Two, three, seven, Maddie. It's a great post here. Maddie says, hi, I love your work on BG3. Yeah, what about the rest of it? She says, hi, I love your work on BG3. Okay, I'm kidding. Could I please get the line, what's better than a devil you don't know? One that you do. Um, yeah, you can. You can get that. I can hear birdsong. Is that your birdsong, Campbell? 
That's that is my bird song. I I was literally thinking about how fucking loud these birds are. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't think the mic could pick that up. Well, it's, it's intense. I mean, you know, why not? The rain just ended in L.A., so the the birds are probably out again. The, say that again. Oh, it's just raining a lot in L.A., so the birds are oh, probably it's raining. Out. Yeah, it's been incessant rain this week here. Um, There we go, Maddie. What's better than a devil you don't know? A devil you do. There we go. And you got a little Raphael heart there. Okay, that fabulous poster. Um, yeah, but today it's been a spring, glorious spring day. Today, here. Yeah. That must be beautiful. That that was something I missed about London was uh, the summers. The really nice summer you guys got there. Well, it yeah. I mean, you do feel, I mean, we're just at the end of March. It's um, a glorious spring day, a consistently pleasant day, which it hasn't been because it's just sun, rain, all week, mostly rain, torrential rain on, on, on Thursday, ridiculous amounts of rain. Um, but uh, today's been consistently nice. I went out without a coat on. That's the first time this year. Um, but it's not, it, it's still only spring. It's it's not, you can't, it'll be cold out there tonight. I can only imagine. Yeah. Samantha says, oh, it's hellishly hot in the tropics. Yeah, I, I bet. Um, and in Australia, it's, I think it's turning, it's just, just turning to autumn a bit, is it? Yeah, it's technically autumn here in Australia, but it's still hot according to, uh, I think that's Lumina, Dark Urge Diaries. Yeah, technically autumn here in Australia, but it's still hot. Yeah. Uh, someone says, complain about the rain in Provence, but it's much needed. Yeah, it's the same in Spain. It's been raining in Spain. They need the rain. Um, uh, uh, clocks go forward tomorrow, says Tia. Yeah, they do. We lose an hour. Yeah. Okay. So can we pause just for a few minutes? Of course. Cat's paws. Meow. Um, and um, I'll be right back. Um, All right, perfect. Can, should we do that? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let me know when you're back. I'll uh, mute you for now. Okay. See, see, you in a, see you in a minute. See you in a bit. Hey, guys, you're stuck with me now. Sorry. Yeah, I know that meow is going to get a that meow is going to get a lot of um, reaction. What's up, guys? How's it going? Did you like my cat doodle? I did. I, I just saw it. I've been reading everyone's Twitter while this is happening. Whenever it's silent, I'm reading Twitter because you guys are insane. Um, thank you for all the follows, by the way. Um, you guys have been so supportive uh, and so nice. Uh, this is not an attention that I'm used to, so it's going to my head already. Um, I kept it out for you guys. You can see the toppled over toilet cleaner fluid there because uh, I just did a spring clean on my bathroom, even though it doesn't look like it from this angle. Um, I had to make sure that the chamber pot was spotless before we started today. Thank you. Love the reddish hair you got going. See, here's the thing. I think it's technically blonde, but I think the camera shows it up as like reddish because the sun is beaming directly through. Like through. Uh, technically, I'm dirty blonde though, but kind of wish I was red haired sometimes. Maybe it is red, and maybe I'm just stupid. You don't have a door in your bathroom. I do, but you know, every time I close the door, it, I'm gonna hear uh, show us the chamber pot. Show us the chamber pot. So. You know, I'm getting it out of the way now, out of the way now so that you guys can see it. And then, uh, you know, if I decide to stream today, which I might after Andrew heads off and you guys want to join, um, I'll probably either have it shut or open. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling. George is denying his ginger. I don't think George is a ginger. I, I also will deny that for him. My girlfriend calls me an orange cat. 
So you're not, darling, this, you're not too for tell me. I said, I, I will. It's a, I, I only really talked to her on Friday, but, um, I, uh, yeah, the, the other, the other days are, uh, usually for another God, but not the weekends. It's like a divorced parent situation. Uh, someone asked earlier what my, what kind of witch my girlfriend is. Uh, she is eclectic slat, but mainly Celtic. What is your name on Twitch? Um, I think it's our soup is broken or soup kitchen art. I think it's soup kitchen art. Thank you. Wednesday and Friday for me. I, should, should I do Wednesday as well? I figured given the, the God that's named after that might be offensive. Soup kitchen art. Thank you, Jack. Go follow. He's on it. It's true. I have, a, I'm a very different person on that channel. Chamber poppers. That is probably what I'm going to do if we end up doing the signing there. I'll probably do that. Um, that's true. <laughs> Can we see the towel with the runes in the back? I can't take it off because it's kind of pinned down to the altar, but it's um, it's the uh, I got it from that one lady on TikTok who creates like Norse pagan stuff. Um, Oh, dar darling, mess you. Correct me if I'm wrong. D you said you were from Indonesia, right? Or was it a different one? Can we, I'm not doing the goblin voice on stream here. Um, <laughs> Philippines. Sorry, sorry, Philippines. I don't know where I got Indonesia from. Um, well, a lot of my friends, um, so fun, uh, fun fact, I'm not the only uh, talent coordinator at Streamly. Um, our friend Ray is part Filipino and part Hawaiian. Uh, and you may see him on stream a couple of times. He's actually a lot more charming and charismatic than I am. And I wish he would be on stream more because he's such a good guy. Um, Every time I try to get Filipino food with him, though, he fucking, he doesn't. <laughs> what is Campbell's stretch again? Uh, soup Kitchen Art, if you want to follow, you can. But I, I feel a little inappropriate plugging that on uh, Andrew's live. Um, but, you know, obviously he isn't here right now. Get Olympia? I'd like to get any food, but they get, like... Him and our other friend Iris, who's also Filipino, like they get mad whenever I ask if we can get Filipino food because they say they're sick of it. And I want to get like Jolly Bee or things like that. And they're just, I'm, they're like, stop asking us to get Filipino food. It's like low key racist. And I was like, okay, I'll stop. The cat's away, Campbell. <laughs> Fair. Jollibee, I know I've been told that. Jollibee is the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I've been told about Balo too. If I'm saying that right, apologies if I'm not. The food does slap, but I think I think at the time our friend Iris had just gotten back from the Philippines. Um and our friend Ray just wasn't interested. I'm also hungry now, but I just inhaled a fucking sandwich. So nothing is racist about Filipino food. They were calling me racist because I'm a white guy asking if we can go, if I can go get Filipino food with them. <laughs> I want to clarify that that's the context. I need to try everything like I, cause I haven't tried any Filipino food like ever. It's silly. They were kidding, of course, but still it was a, they, it immediately shut me down. <laughs> I'll try. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I I'll make more of an effort. The problem is I live in LA like an idiot and I don't have a car. And if any of you live in LA, you know that you need a car to live in LA. And I, I do not um, because I am stupid. Fun fact. Um, 
I, oh, sorry, I was reading the comments. So I had a license in, when I lived in Chicago. I moved to Arizona for two years in college, but I left that license on the plane and no one ever found it. So I, I lost my license. And uh, University of Arizona, if you don't know, is in Tucson, which is an extremely small town and you don't really need a car to get around there. Um, and then I moved to LA and I was like, surely public transport is readily available and good here. Campbell, you're not going to guess what Nimsy made. Is it either a Peakman or is it a um, Cat Andrew picture? Let me see. Cannot re retrieve post at this time. Please try again later. All I've seen so far is cat pictures. <laughs> No, Newt, it's not racist at all. That's uh, it's uh, they're joking with me that I'm I'm being the white guy who's going up to his Asian friends and being like, I really want to try your guys' cultural food, like uh, being like performative essentially. Uh, they were kidding with me. They were making fun of me. That's all they were doing. It's all jokes. It's all jokes. Check your DMs. I'm scared, Nimsy. What did you send me? Oh, for fuck's sake. You also took like the most... <laughs> I hate that this accentuates my receding hairline so much. Um, this is a... <laughs> it's a travesty. How dare you? Next time you see me, by the way, because I'm going to try and get a haircut. Um, next time you see me, I might be buzzed. I might be buzzing this because this is just embarrassing at this point. Many places you listen or walk will have potion. But I don't drive. Um, Amelia, you want to go to New York and Boston? Uh, any other city? Maybe Chicago? Anything other than that? No. Uh, America is huge uh, and it's all connected by, you know, deforested road paths that are now covered in like strip malls and so on. So you, you're going to need to have someone who's able to drive or you're going to need to learn, unfortunately. Otherwise, you can just go to New York, Chicago or Boston. Um, I would strongly recommend not going to L.A. if you don't know how to drive. Uh, if you are going to L.A. and you don't know how to drive, make sure you have money uh, so that you can Uber. Can I beg for a happy birthday wish from Wincott as well? I can offer two Raphael sketches. Uh, yeah, I can ask him. Uh, I try not to bug him too much in between his signings here just because it's like I would not. Guys, go to Chicago. Truly, it's fine. Chicago's great. I grew up there. It's, it's, it's a conservative talking point that Chicago is the murder capital of the U.S. It's not. Um, it is not even on, like, the top ten, like, worst – there are bad parts of Chicago as there are bad parts of any city. LA is probably just as dangerous as Chicago is. Um, the, the worst apparently is St. Louis, Missouri. I just, I came here to clear up that rumor. Campbell Peakman has been made. I'm scared. The public transport definitely needs improvement. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, you could honestly, LA is arguably more dangerous for the drivers. Good God, the people are insane here. Cleveland, Ohio might be worse too. Because of the partnership between art schools. Really? Interesting. I figured not a lot of people in Europe had known what Chicago was. Minus the, you know, like avid movie watcher. I Ubered it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd still Uber everywhere in LA. Can we get Mr. Harlow, Mr. Harlow, Mr. Wickett to do a Harlow voice? He doesn't do Harlow nearly enough. I can ask him. I can ask him about the birthday stuff too. No one in LA knows how to drive in the rain. That is absolutely true. No one does because they consider a light drizzle here a storm. 
Uh, and that is not me trying to be like annoyingly like above it. It's just what the heck is a Chicago? It's a great city and you should go get a hot dog there. Blizzy it up in there. Mr. Harlan. <laughs> I live in London now and now I miss the trees. You don't have to go too far to see the trees outside London. You just got to go up to like Scotland or something. Um, I say that so simply just because America is so big. It, we can't go three hours away just to visit literally an entirely different country. Like three hours away is like the, the nearest city in the same state. America is way too big. Are they not used to it? Yeah, well, LA is notoriously like um, very sunny, like extremely sunny, like the palm trees and everything. Um, <laughs> you did a 360? That's fucking sick. Sorry, that's freaking sick. Um, come to Brighton. We have the sea and deadly seagulls. I might. London to Scotland, we would die. <laughs> I lived in LA for a bit. I don't miss it. I don't blame you. Uh, there, there's things wrong with the city, but you know when you're trying to get in like industry stuff and things like that, this is unfortunately kind of the only city you can go to unless you're trying to be in like an agency. Um, there's there's some amateur, unprofessional uh, film industry advice for you. If you're trying to, if you live in America, you're gonna have to go to LA. Come to Ireland, we have whiskey. Uh, Robin, I'm going to not lie to you now. I've always wanted to go to Ireland. Uh, Ireland and Iceland are two places that I would love to save up to go, but I unfortunately am not in a spot to do so. Um, I'm going to start a GoFundMe soon. Uh, there's hun hundreds of people suffering in the world right now, but I want all of you to spend money on my trip to Iceland and Ireland. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm kidding. Um, I'm in Scotland. I go to south of Glasgow uh, maybe once, twice a year. Oh, Yvonne, that's lovely. I went to the uh, I went to Scotland one time to hike the West Highland Way, and we gave up about halfway because we're weak. Um, as an assistant for an influencer for a bit, yeah, I can see why you didn't like LA. <laughs> Ten conventions around the country, uh, probably not. Um, I like the probably more fun for outsiders. I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of Irish people say like, it's not that big a deal. I, I understand that Americans think that they're going to go to Ireland and they're going to get, you know, the banshees of Inish or like that, just like lush green, but it's uh, more the people that I want to go for. Uh, people there are extremely, extremely nice from like everyone, at least that I've met from Ireland has been very nice to me. And uh, the people in Scotland are lovely too. Scotland and Ireland are good lads, and they all hate uh, the British. So that's a that's a plus for us. I know they don't care that much. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone you're one sixteen. I made the mistake of going to Scotland to try and uh, uncover my name because if you don't know, Campbell's a very Scottish name, uh, and little did I know that Clay and Campbell were essentially the. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Yvonne can tell you, but Clay and Campbell were not, we're, we don't have a great history um, unless you're pro British rule. Everyone hates the Campbells. Yeah, I don't blame them. I looked into them after I went to Scotland and I, now I, and now I too am, now I too am not too fond of my name. <laughs> Have I been to Wales? I have been to Wales. Um, uh, Wales was very nice. I went there on a school trip when I lived in London. All right, looks like Andrew's coming back here in a bit. Everyone get your final questions in for me. I know everyone's here for me, not Andrew, so. I toss a sausage roll. Change your name to Bellcamp. I don't know if that'd make a difference. I still got like four Scottish last names. So are we behaving well? Of course. Of course you guys are behaving well. You guys are always great.
Campbell stole your castle in a gambling game. What the hell? How's it going, Andrew? Hi. Hi, Campbell. Yeah, I'm good. We're talking about uh, my name and uh, how everyone in Scotland hates it um, for good reason. Your name, Campbell? Yeah. Well, it's clan. It's a clan, isn't it? Clan. clan. Yeah, we did. We did some bad stuff. We did not. We did some not great stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. They were probably all as bad as each other. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a historian on Scotland, unfortunately, but there's some places I can't go into because of my name. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I saw a, a pub that said, no tinkers, no Campbells. That's what it said. Um, was it anything to do with the, uh, is it, is it, was Glencoe anything to do with the Campbell clan? Probably. I, I, I would assume that's one of the many places we carried out a massacre. <laughs> if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah, but then the English didn't do. They don't come out of the whole Scottish story very well either. No, I, I don't think there's just good history there. You know, I think it's a. Uh, I think it's real bloody. Yeah, and yet Scotland is um, a, an absolutely stunning country. I love the 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 Highlands, the Northwest Highlands. I was telling uh, Yvonne in the chat here that I I did the West Highland Way one time, and I gave up halfway through because I'm weak. But it was beautiful. How far is that or how many days is that it's uh if you do the whole thing it's like i ivan you can correct me i think it's like a, maybe like a week or two um i think the halfway point the kind of like the beginner hiker trail that you do is like a week is it is that where you cross from east to west or, or west to east is that the highland way it's more like south to north um oh, a little okay. bit okay you're get, you're going up the trails and then you book a bunch of Airbnbs or not Airbnbs just beds and bed and breakfasts uh, just like along the way. Right, it must be another one I'm thinking of. They 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 cross it, but um, you can cross east to west. Uh, no, that's wrong. No, no, that's not Scotland. Actually, that's lower down. The one I'm thinking of anyway. Loch Lomond northward says Yvonne. That that sounds right. Um, all right, well, distractions aside, I'm gonna let you take the screen again and I will let you get right back to it. Okay, so I think we, we did Maddie, didn't we? Two, three, seven, that was, yeah. That was the last, the last one. So uh, how many have we done, Campbell? Can we just, can we just, is, uh, how, how many are we aiming for? Uh, we're aiming for 50 roughly, but are we on 30 yet or close or? We should be, we should be past 30. Let me do a check real quick. Um, looks like we're at about, right about to hit for 30. Uh, we're about 29. 29, okay. Let's do a bit more then. Um, Because you just did Maddie, right? Just did Maddie. Yeah, then you're you're at about twenty nine. Okay. Two, three, eight. This is Bailey. Bailey says, "Please write such an eager little pup. It's my favorite line, along with your signature." What you mean is your favorite line along with my signature. It's your favorite. <laughs> no. I love your work, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh thank you. You you you, you really shouldn't. Well you should, but no. <laughs> no. That's very very kind of you, Bailey. I appreciate what you're saying. Thank you. Um, someone asked who we have coming up. I will uh, read it out now. So this is Bailey. Next is Lenka. Then we have Julia with a GIU again. We have Darcy. We have My Dear Little Mouse. We've got another Julia. We've got Lizzie, Hazel, 
the contemptuous little mouse, Emma, Megan, Ellie, Marcus, Lumina, Wing, Jameson the Warlock, Camilla Bombette, Lilith Darling, Haley Falconbridge, Kaylee Lowe, Lonnie, Becca, Little Mouse Elo, Cooney, Little Vamping, and then Teresa at 280, uh, which is what I'm hoping we try and get to today because Teresa, I think, has been asking for a little bit, and I want to make sure we get to them. Katie, thank you for posting the Beltane Pie. I'd love to see that. Bailey, here we go. Such an eager little pup. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words. I'm so happy you like the work, my work. It's, it's you know, I'm just lucky to be doing doing what I do. It's, it's yeah. I mean, oh great, okay, fantastic. So that's Bailey. That's that's 29. Then is it or 30? Anyway, then we get Lenka. Uh, Haley, not to worry. If you miss it, um, it'll it'll be here, and we'll make sure to say hi. Linka says, "Hey, hey, hey, Linka, hey, could you please write hope? It always burns you in the end." little mouse so there you go well it's hot in the house of hope or an avernus that's me greetings from germany hi lenka oh hi lenka Of course, Haley, don't worry about it. Everyone's got nail appointments. I have to scurry away. I don't think mine will be sent to you, but I'm looking forward to it. Little Flame, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, we'll try and get yours done. If you're VIP, we'll make sure we get you a video at the very least, um, if we don't get to you today, unfortunately. Um, but we'll, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Lenka, here we are. Um, hope it always burns you in the end, little mouse. Here we go. Um, catch the light with that. Uh, it always burns you in the end, little mouse. Uh, Lenka says, thanks. You did a fantastic job with voicing Raphael. Thank you. I can't remember if I read that. Shall I read it again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's a fantastic job. Doing what? Voicing who? Uh, uh, what kind of a job? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, excellent. We come to Ju Julia. Oh, this is another Julia. Yeah, we've got about three for Julia. Um, oh, we've got three Julias, but spelled that way: G G I U L I A. Looks that way. Yeah. Well, you know, it could could be the same Julia. I, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, you know, I don't mean to jump the queue a little bit, but uh, the other Julia is about like three down. Do we want to just knock that one out and we can just do that in kind of the same same breath here? It, 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 are you asking me or telling me? Oh, wait, never mind. That's a different one. I was asking, but don't worry about it. Um, I'm Julia in the chat is letting me know that's a different Julia, but it's spelled the same way. Yeah. Um. Senna, Sene, I just want to say you're the you're the reason I really enjoy Raphael. You give him a lot of evil charisma, 
but it's way too cool for a lot of people's sanity. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. I've got a lot to answer for then. I blame the cats. Um, Lenka, thank you so much. You're very welcome, Lenka. Um, you're very welcome. Can you send the cats to pick up your mail? But yes, Lauren, okay, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll send the cats in to the office. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I will get there eventually. Um, and, and, that, and anybody else who's written and sent things, thank you so much. I will get to the office. But, you know, they don't like me going in very much. I'm too disruptive. You know, I, I wreck the place. I trash the place. I throw tables through windows and chairs through televisions. It's, I'm, I'm really not good company when I go to the office. So they say, well, don't, don't come in. Can you just phone? Yeah, but I've got mail. Yeah, but phone, please. Don't, 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 don't come in. No, but there are perishables there. It doesn't matter. We don't want you coming in. You're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, aren't you? Julius says, <clears throat> I really, really wanted to let you know. I shouldn't say really twice. I really wanted to let you know how amazingly you brought your character to life. Could you please write to Julia, my dear little mouse? Thank you. The cats are writing the same thing right now, I can tell you. Um, while he's writing, I'll just address uh, what Nervous asked me earlier. If it can't be done on stream, will it be personalized? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, the difference is it's just sometimes we can't get it on stream. Uh, there's a lot of orders. We're just to give you guys context. We're like around 400 total. So these past few weeks have been chipping through the VIPs. But if you added instructions, it's not like he's not going to just write. He's not just going to put a blanket signing on it. You're still going to get what you asked for. It's just probably, it might not be on stream, unfortunately. We're going to see. Um, however, we want to make sure. But, you know, again, there is that, unless you're VIP, there is that unfortunate loss of guarantee there. Hey, Alyssa. To Julia, my dear little mouse. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Um, I'm very pleased you liked having Raphael brought to life. I would be very worried, personally. But then what do I know? Um, good, right? That's 241. Okay. So. Darcy, Darcy, is it, is it, this is a no, no, it couldn't possibly be Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice because that's a fictional character. And Darcy says, no, I'm real. She says, yeah, no, she doesn't. She says, two for two, she says, can you write for my favorite client? The offer still stands. Yeah, thank you so much. I adore your work in BG three. Uh, so, Baldur's Gate three. Um, cheers to your cheers to your continued success. Thank you, thank you, Darcy. Um, and I'm guessing you're in America because you spell favorite in that way, and that's fine. I, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> the accent back. Uh, Zoe Moe, are, can you tell me the name that yours is under? Uh, I can, if we get to it today, I can make sure that we have that there. Rent it, not VIP though. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave a note for Andrew when he gets to it. Um, if we're not going to stream it, um, I'm going to try and get. I'll, I'll get Andrew's opinion whenever we head off, though, because again, I, I need to make sure that we're not getting in the way of his time.
So Darcy, there we are. For my favorite client, the offer still stands. Can catch the light with that. There we go, something like that. For my favorite client, the offer still stands. Someone's reading Dorian Gray out there in the chat. So two, four, three. Um, two, four, three. <clears throat> this is to um, my dear little mouse. Could you graffiti adding cat ears and hearts on Raphael? As Harlot, a snarky message from Raphael and Hearts, and charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. Cat is and heart and hearts on Raphael. As uh, heart, hearts on Raphael as heart. I didn't quite follow that. Um. For Spoopy Iris, um, just to answer your question, yes. So after this is done, uh, a YouTube video should automatically be posted on Streamly's account. Uh, you can catch it if we uh, if you miss it for whatever reason. Um, Campbell, can you just help me with this one? My, so, my dear little mouse, could you graffiti adding cat ears and hearts on Raphael as Harlep? As, I, there's quite a lot going on in that message, and I don't know if I really know what, what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, I see that. So I think uh, what they're asking is, um, can you add cat ears to the Raphael on the photo? Um, and then really? hearts as well. And then, let's see, how there is. I don't think you need to do that. That might be a little bit much of an ask because it's a little confusing. So I think maybe just to simplify it, we can just say, um, if you want to add a little tag next to that little graffiti with the catters and hearts and write a little thing that just says Harlop on it. And then uh, if you want to write Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one from Raphael. Yeah. <clears throat> that bit I'm I'm okay with. Yeah. Uh, my dear little mouse, charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one, but it's the cat ears and hearts, Raphael Hart, but I don't quite know what's going on there. Uh, I think the message is just a little confusing. So just uh, if you want to add the cat ears and the hearts next to the, the Raphael on the print, that's what they're asking for. I'll do a doodle of some kind. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, okay. My dear little mouse, charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one, Raphael. And there's a cat uh, here. 
Okay. Um, I might put a heart because I think you wanted a heart as well, didn't I? Okay, there we are. There we are. And here we are. Charmed, I'm sure. <clears throat> All righty. This is our last Julia. <laughs> our last Julia is next. Uh, I, I don't believe it. There can't be. There must be more Julias. At least spelled like this. Yeah. Spelled that, yeah. I, I want more and more of Julia spelled like this. Please, if you know. Um, Julia, Julia says, Thank you so much. Gosh, I, SM, I thought I was getting you know, concerned for a second. Thank you for the SM. No. Thank you, SM. Thank you so much. That's what, they, uh, that's what that means. It also means stage manager in theatrical thing. But thank, <laughs> thank you, stage thank manager. You, thank you, Sada No, thank you, SM, for a show stealer performance. The passion and drive that made me fall in love. Oh, wow. Be creative. Kiss hug to Raphael and Harlep. Wow. Thank you for those lovely thoughts and sentiments, Julia. So what am I doing here? Uh, they, they're just letting you I'm know not. how much you like your work, so you can put whatever you want on it. Be, uh, be creative as an instruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, yeah, be creative. Right. Yeah, don't, don't bother me now. I'm busy. Be creative. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what to do. Stage oh yeah, Jameson the Warlock. I think your order's coming up. So this one is for Julia. We got all right, so on deck we got Lizzie, Hazel, Contemptuous Little Mouse, Emma, Megan, Ellie, Marcus, Lumina, Wing, Jameson. Okay. Then I see Haley Falcon Bridge too. You're on there too. I see you. All right, we're at about 35 right now. It means uh, 15 more, and we'll be at 50. Julia, um, from the devil you know, Raphael, and there's a little cat. Um, drawing there and heart i think that's creative enough but um 
uh, I just felt a cat would be appropriate because they're on my mind. I don't, don't, don't know why, but um, anyway, there we go. The amazing poster. Um, and and thank you, thank you for the kisses and hugs. Um, Lauren, uh, just to answer your question, uh, why is it 150 characters? We can try and increase it, uh, but you know, sometimes people want in these audio shadows for people to basically like read their entire script. And so we really, we need to limit it just because like sometimes it's a lot. Uh, and you don't want to get an audio message from someone being like, Hey, this was too long. I can't do this whole thing. So, um, Whatever you can do is good, but try and limit to 150 if you can, unfortunately, until we maybe see if we can go. We'll probably, if it's not the first thing we got, uh, then yeah. Campbell, what is ranch? Asking is a European. Robin Cullen, I'm assuming this is from Devra's uh, TikTok. <laughs> maybe add an extra chart base sees a certain amount of characters. Uh, I, we should do that, but I don't think that's something in our tech build that we have right now. Um, we are like, a, we're a very limited team at Streamly. It's about like myself and Ray are the people that handle talent. We've got three people that bring on the talent and then our support is two, two people. And then it's just like, so on. We're, we're a very small team. Ranch is a gift from the gods. Uh, to answer your question, Robin, ranch is a type of dressing that is very popular in America. Uh, Dever Wild, who plays Lazelle, has recently fallen in love with it. So can you reference something like a sonnet instead of typing it out? Yeah, you can do that. Um, I appreciate it, Joel. <laughs> that's, uh, but that's why we're so limited on certain things. Is just uh, we, we are a very small team. Um, the Wing Stuff series is absolutely hilarious. I'm, I'm loving uh, Dever's whole thing on that. Unfortunately, we don't talk a lot, but... Andrew, have you tried ranch yet? What is ranch? It's a type of dressing that's popular in America. Uh, you put it on dressing. carrots. Yeah, it's like you put it on like carrots, wings, salads, uh, anything. It's like really mayo based, um, very like creamy. It's what based again? It's kind of like mayonnaise based. Uh, a mayo based, mayo based. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have. Sounds good. I'm not a fan of it personally, but uh, a lot of people in America love it. Yeah. Wow. I do love Ioli again. Fired again. I'm sorry. <laughs> More of an Ioli guy. I could be wrong about the mayo base. It might be more sour cream base, but either way, it is a. I don't want to say white and creamy on stream. So, yeah, I did. And look, it was going to be inevitable no matter what. So at least I said it in a better context that can't be taken out. The next one here is um, is another poster, and it's to Lizzie, and um, <laughs> the, spe the special instruction here, something flirty and maybe a little menacing that Raphael would say, also love you as Adam Macy in The Archers. I've been listening for 19 years. That's nearly as long as I've been playing Adam Macy. Um, so, Lizzie, if you're out there, uh, I hope you're enjoying the latest plot lines. Um, yeah. 
Is Lizzie there? I don't know. So flirty, flirty. Wow. Okay. And and menacing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, my favourite flirt. Yeah. Okay. To Lizzie. I'm tempted to write Adam under this as well for you, Lizzie, but um, I don't think I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> it's too, too confusing. Um, but yeah, happy to talk about Archer's plot lines at some other some other point. Anaerobic digesters and uh, herbal lays. Herbal what? Um, okay, uh, is that about anything there? A little menacing. Well, there's always that hint of menace about. Raphael. So I, my favourite flirty line is charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. So I've written that there for you. And uh, yeah, and uh, you know, do pop round honeysuckle for uh, for volivants. Ian's volivants are to die for. You know, it's funny, there probably aren't many Archers fans uh, also listening or, 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 or attending this. But you never know, there might be. I, I once said that in an interview uh, on all about the archers and then was told, no, there are there is a crossover. There there are people who follow both. I'm I'm surprised. I'm not I'm, I'm not entirely convinced. There may be a handful. So suddenly you're all going, yeah, no, we love the archers. Yeah, can we? Yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's got a good idea here. An extra charge if it exceeds a certain amount of characters. What? What is that about the, is it about this or is it about something? Uh, it's about the, uh, so it's about the audio shout outs, about how there's a character the limit. Because what we don't want is for you to get a request that's like an essay long um and you have to parse through what they actually want to say so on and so forth so it's just like yeah it's easier all around if we keep it to a certain character limit uh, uh, right yeah yeah um could you read my favorite poem it's 12 books it's the exactly my words. exactly yeah you get it you yeah. get it <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, happy to do a sonnet. A sonnet's perfect. 14 lines. Can you do every line Puck does in Midsummer Night's Dream? <laughs> yeah, that's, that would, mm, yeah. <laughs> read them quickly, yeah. Andrew, can you read this script I'm working on? <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Um, we've got to, I've got here 247 now. Uh, and this is to Hazel, my little mouse. Peek, why do you have instructions on a soap bottle? Just put the soap on. What, what do you need an instruction for?
Hi, Teresa. Uh, no, yours is uh, yours has not come on yet. You're, we're still working through. I just buy bar soap. <laughs> oh, unruly crow. That's a very good point. <laughs> Bar soap is nasty exposed. That's true. I did start moving back to my loofah, but still. Uh, Teresa, you got a good bit of people in line before you. Um, if we don't get to you today, we'll still get you that video, not to worry. Um, but we'll see if we can get to you. You're a little ways down. You're about a little under 20 away. <clears throat> Hazel, my little mouse. The mouse smiled brightly at our fox the cat, then down came the claw, and that love was that, and there's a tiny cat. Right there. Yeah. Can you ask if you're asking me if you're saying I should ask him what I think you're asking? I'm not gonna. <laughs> No, apparently what I thought was being asked is not what is being asked. I don't know what's being asked yet. Apparently I'm getting DM'd. So sus, but say yes, Campbell. Absolutely not. I know you guys. Would Mr. Winkup be willing to try and read some foreign words? Uh, Nothing bad, yeah. I just wanted to try and speak Filipino words. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I'll have a go, I, I, I'll have a go. You'll have to help. Why don't we, uh, I'll, I'll pull moderator here for a sec. Why don't we save it for like when we want to start wrapping on the signing itself and then we can do that just so that we uh, just kind of keep this moving just because so I, I want to make sure that I'm not distracting you too much. Sure. 
Look, I'm sorry to be on my power trip, guys, but look, I, you know, I see you guys asking wh when my order is and everything. I want to make sure we're at least getting to as many people as we can today. So I just want to make sure we're not cutting it off early and people aren't left unsatisfied. Either way, you're getting a video if you're VIP, but still, I, it seems like people are a little more partial to making sure that they get on stream today. So we'll try and get as far as we can. Satan Bubbles, yes, someone has already made me a peak, man. Okay, um, my contemptuous little mouse <clears throat> wanted me to write, um, to add hearts all over the print, so I've tried to do that, and I've signed it, Raphael and Harlet, um, and, I've, and the quotation, there we are, which we all know and love, I hope, what's better than W you don't know, W you do, but, you know, there are hearts in the corners, and it looks beautiful, beautiful work. You know, um, I, I, I can't tell you how long I've laboured at this, but <laughs> there we go. So on we go. On we go. What's next? What's next? Emma is yeah. next. Emma is next. Great. In old by Jane Austen, Emma. 250. Emma says, can you please add to my dearest little mouse, Emma? Also, maybe something about that dinner invitation and end it with love, Raphael. Gosh, what, uh, okay. What dinner invitation was <laughs> Hmm.
to my let me read this to my dearest little mouse Emma. Inside, uh, dinner in the house of hope soon. Love, Raphael. Beautiful, beautiful work as always. I do an added heart for you. Let's see what we're at right now. Okay. Uh, so, Andrew, we're about to hit about 40. Okay. Just letting you know. So we're at about 38, 39 That's right good. now. That's good. How's everybody doing? Are they expiring? Everyone is good. Everyone is excited. I need a hype man like Campbell for sure. Just you pay me. I'll be on Fiverr soon. You can. I'll hype you up. Um Everyone's hyped. I see it. For another mega. Campbell, can you give us a yippee, pretty please? Um, if I stream uh right after this then absolutely <laughs> I'll, I'll do it there i'm not gonna do the fucking german kid meme on andrew's stream Got to do it with gusto. Thank you, Robin. You're absolutely right. There you go, Megan. No special instructions. I've written from the devil you know, Raphael and Andrew and a little heart. And, you know, I thought it was supposed to. Wow. Good little cat. Uh, Jay, uh, Twitch name is Soup Kitchen Art, if you want to go, go look at that. I'm trying to change it because that was like when I went, just trying to be an art channel and that uh, I, I don't think that worked out. So <laughs> see the cat. Okay, that was the cat. And then, and then down came the claws. So that's uh, Megan. Um, next is Ellie. Ellie, it's another poster. It's funny how the posters all come in a, a rush. Isn't that strange? Or maybe it isn't strange at all. No, that one was really popular. I mean, shout out to Swimina who uh, made that. I don't know if she's still on stream right now, but um, it is a. Uh, oh. If you guys still want it, it's still an off-camera option. Um, we limited the on-camera options for the specific reason that we're still making streams <laughs> so that we don't have to keep bugging Andrew for more. It's just funny that the, the most of the posts seem to have come in a, in a row like this. Maybe you designed it deliberately. This is all by design, isn't it? Nothing's by accident. Everything's so planned, uh, you know. It's uh, it's all rehearsed. This, you know, I, every word I'm saying has been rehearsed. It's scripted. I've been writing a script this whole time. Yeah, absolutely, I've got the script running up here. I know exactly what to say, <laughs> what I'm doing. I spent hours learning it. That's that's so, why Andrew's a professional, guys. I give him a 50 page script, uh, and he memorizes it line for line for these streams. Yep, absolutely. I never deviate from a word. I never argue, <laughs> quarrel, quibble over anything. No. Andrew once asked me, he was like, can I can I improv this? And I said, absolutely not. You need to stick to the line. I, I will take no improv on this. It's true. True story. <laughs> this is actually recorded. Everything we've been responding to has just been conveniently planned. 
Absolutely. If he would leave any of this to chance, I mean, it could be disastrous. No, oh, no. Can't, can't leave anything to chance. Carefully scripted and vetted. Been through yeah, several there's a whole the streaming thing. team is just we just write scripts none of these are actually live um we've we've been conning everybody there you go Eddie. from the devil you know Raphael plus heart plus heart heart on a dagger heart on a dagger morgan collar jonesy chapel hand comes up moves it away you've heard that story true story True story. Someone says this is some elaborate Twitch plug for my, <laughs> for me. That's funny. An elaborate soup Twitch plug. <laughs> uh, they call me Soup because my name is Campbell. Um, yeah, yeah. That's I get that. That's um, what when you were out to getting the food delivery, I was saying it's soup. It's just that's big. <laughs> that's why they were asking. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, sorry. If did I perhaps I? Uh, yeah. No, you're good. I've known I've known the the soup jokes uh, since birth, so this is nothing new for me. Oh wow. Uh, right. So we now on to two five five. This is Marcus. Trying to concentrate now. Focus, concentrate. This is 255. Marcus. Marcus with a K. Marcus says, please say, or write, your soul is a small price for a new body, wouldn't you say? Little mouse. It's about being a transgender guy. Okay. Thank you. Well, I've said it, so will that be okay marcus uh, no you'll be all right okay yeah what's that you want me to be sensible oh, okay right <laughs> yeah um <laughs> would you guys in chat consider stew a soup if so then that is my favorite In that case, I don't really have a favorite. I guess like a, a good a good miso is good. Um, anything with some chicken broth is also good. I'm not a. I, ironically, I'm not a soup guy. Um, chicken soup for me. Chicken soup is good. Chicken soup is. Good. Great, good thick chicken with real, you know, with chicken in it. Why, you know, just to, why wouldn't you? Someone just said lemon chicken orzo soup, and now actually I kind of want to try that. That sounds really good. Lemon chicken. Lemon chicken orzo soup. Cullen skink. That sounds really good, Vaughn. Cullen skink, smoked fish and potato. That, that's, um, is that tapping into a uh, Scottish thing? I don't know. Yeah, big Scottish specialty, apparently. Marcus, to Marcus, your soul is a small price for a new body, wouldn't you say, little mouse? There you go. Perfect. And he should know. All right. Uh, 
Darkridge Diaries, if you're here, uh, this this is yours next, I think. For, uh, this is for Lumina. Um, Andrew, when you get to Lumina, uh, they would prefer you view the message uh, sometime else, just not on the live. Not, not on the live thing. Yeah. Uh, how do I, I don't know how to do that. Oh, no, just ignore the message, basically. That's what they're saying. Well, this is Lumina now. Yeah. Um, so ignore the message. But how can I yeah. view it later? How can I view it later? Do I leave um, it You could just go back to completed. Um, actually, no, I think they told me ignore the message generally. <laughs> I think that's what they oh, told just me. ignore the message? Well, yeah. Well, now I, want to, now I want to see it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you... It, that, that, that doesn't work. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not the deal we're making here. No. Okay. Uh, incidentally, can you, how do I call back if I want to? Or so you would need to go to the, me? you would need to go to the filters at the top and you would need to hit uh, complete where it says incomplete. Uh, and then you would just scroll through until you find it again, and then you can see it. So if I click incomplete, it brings everything up. Yeah, you're currently on incomplete orders. That's what you're looking at right now. But if you go to, if you change it to completed orders after you complete this one, you'll be able to see it there. Oh, change it to completed, it brings everything up. Yes, exactly. Incl everything. Uh, no, it's the one everything that you can Everything that you completed, yeah. That I have completed, got it, got it. So you've got incomplete, completed. The, yeah, the prefix tells you what you need to know. Yeah, there is a logic. I just, you know, <laughs> no, it's just good. not my kind of logic. Yeah. Okay, so this is to Lumina, June Rose. So I guess you want, yeah, Lumina brackets June, June Rose. Is that okay, Lumina? Are you there? I think it's, it uh, okay? yeah, they are there. Um, let's see. Do you want the whole name there, Lumina? Do you want, uh, or just Lumina? Or just Lumina. Or, or just Lumina. Let's see what she says. She says, much love from Australia as well. Uh, she says, perfect. So I say, do the whole thing. Do the whole thing. Oh, much love from Australia. What time is it? it no, it must be getting daylight now. It is 8.30 a.m. in, uh, I think, oh. tomorrow in Australia. It, it's respectable. Then it's Easter Sunday. Happy Happy Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. My character, my character Lumina wishes Raphael to ask her, his favorite little mouse, for a secret rendezvous. Fantastic work, my favorite VA. Love from Australia. Well, thank you, Lumina. Um... Hmm. So I've said to Lumina, June Rose, 
Let's meet soon, my favorite little mouse. Please. He signed Raphael and there's a heart. Heart there. There's a little signature from me. Uh, oh, I haven't done the number. Where, how did that happen? I know you're fine. <laughs> 257. 257. I've been pretty consistent with that. Yeah, the last one was done. You see, distracted. Distracted by all this frivolity. <laughs> Just concentrate. Uh, so that's Living a June Rose. Um, and oh, yes, that's right. We talked about the message. That's probably what distracted me. Yeah, the message, which I'm not allowed to read or see or anything. Now then, 259, wing. M make it out to wing. Oh, did I hear a cat? Down came the claw. And uh, I hope it's not, I hope it's not, um, you know, you know what time, um, you know, feral predator time. Apex predator. 259, this is to wing. To wing. Hello, sir. I'm really in love with your voice. Oh. Um, my tav name is Maliva. 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 I was wondering, could you say a hottest romance line for her? Thanks. Hmm. A hottest romance line. Ooh, gosh. I don't know. Um, someone was asking me for an updated list, so this one is Wing. Uh, Jameson the Warlock, you're next. Uh, Camilla Bombette after that. Lilith Darling, Haley Falconbridge, Kalia, and then Lowe. That's going to hit about 50 for us. So after that, Andrew, we'll see if you still got some energy in you. Um, I might ask you to just go ahead and knock out Teresa today. Um, I don't mean to bump the queue for people that have been waiting. I'm so sorry. But uh, Teresa's just been asking for a minute. And, uh, we, I just want to make sure they get it done. Sorry, guys. Campbell, can you just, um, with Wing here, um, the, 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 the tab, uh, her tab name is Maliva or Maleva, um, but does, does, is this to be incorporated? Maleva? No, I think the, the quote might have been a mistake there. I think they were trying to say Maliva is the name of the tab. So they want Maliva on it. Um, they want Maliva with your hottest romance line, basically. <laughs> Uh, everyone is asking for the belly button line. The belly button. What is the belly button line? Can someone give me the belly button line real quick? I forgot. My... I like Newt suggests my blood burns hotter than wife and whiskey. That's good. That one's pretty good too. Uh, the belly button was, I prefer my liquor served in a quivering belly button oh. distilled in fear and arousal. Okay. Um, That's great. Can you? How do I stop? How do I? I prefer my hair. Here, I'll put it on. But, but not. But, but this isn't to my labor. This is to wing. I'm making this out to wing. Uh, I think you can do them interchangeably. So if you want to do, do you want to do wing slash Maliva, and then you want to put that. Okay. Uh, cap herm, yes, uh, that that is correct. Uh, so I've showed we have a new feature. Basically, if for some reason we can't get to VIPs on the stream and uh, the talent no longer has time, this goes for any talent, not just Andrew. Um, they have an option now to supply you with a personal video instead of the live stream, just because it doesn't make sense. Like if there was like five orders left, it wouldn't make sense for them to do a whole live stream around five orders. Uh, so they would just get them done.
Y'all are freaking out about this line. <laughs> Extraordinary line. Um, to wing, I prefer my liquor served in a quivering belly button, distilled in fear and arousal, my Libra. I think wing's about to faint. So there, there we, there, there's that. Is that now? That's that's me. No, yeah. Hmm. Uh, right, so on we go. Next up is Jameson the Warlock. Jameson the Warlock, that's you, buddy. I see you in chat. Jameson the Warlock. Hi. Hi Jay. Uh, yeah, if you if you follow me on Twitter or something, can you DM that to me just so I remember to do that on Monday? I can give that to the team. Um, I'll see if we can just like re if we can try replacing it. We can. Otherwise, I'll just message uh, Andrew to just do that instead. But just so I don't forget, um, please, if you could uh, DM me that. Uh, it should be our soup is broken. So at our soup is broken. It's an embarrassing name, but um, I'll put it in chat right now. Again, I really hate plugging my socials on your stream, but <laughs> let me. This is for work, so I'll, I'll excuse it. Go for it. Um, Jason the Warlock says, thank you for your incredible work as Raphael. Thank you, Jason the Warlock. Thank you for your incredible work. Um, can you write, I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. And that's what I've written. Been very obedient. Jameson the Warlock. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. So, uh... Jackie Jaku, who is, who is that? Jackie Jakuki. Um, I'm just letting you know. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. Probably, like 99% sure we're not going to be able to get to all the VIPs today. But there's going to be just enough like left over that it probably isn't going to have to constitute a whole nother stream. Plus, Andrew's about to be a little busy. Oh, I'm back on stream for some reason. I think you went off there for a second. Um, so uh, we probably won't get to all of them, but any that we do miss today are going to get a private video uh, from Andrew. So I'm, I've taught him how to do that. Um, I'll run through it again with him just in case. But uh, again, if we don't get it, your VIP on live today, just because we don't want to make people wait too much longer, we're going to get you a personal video instead. Because I don't know the exact date. It might be a few weeks, but I want to give Andrew a little bit of a break here um, just because he's been working hard. So... Um, we might do, we'll probably do another stream at some point. Um, it's just, as I was saying at the beginning, it will be like, it might be a little bit. Campbell, do you accept fan art? Uh, of me? Absolutely. Um, if it's for Andrew, um, if it's free and gifted, we can put it up and only if he wants. Is that what that email I got sent was about? Probably. Um, when 
orders are sitting there for a while. Um, it's just to stop orders from sitting there for like six months, you know, uh, you'll probably get an automated email from support and it will it basically asking you like, Hey, sorry about the wait. Uh, here's some options. If you want, you can ignore that email though. Um, you guys know the situation. So. So new live stream settings might be, uh, yeah, if I'll, I'll see if we want to do that. Um, it's more to clean out the current signings that we have, but for right now, Andrew's kind of getting through the off camera ones and the VIP ones. And, um, the other live stream signings that are not VIP, um, we'll, I mean, we're going to, some of them might get done off camera, but if Andrew feels like doing something out like two weeks from now, if you guys don't mind waiting, we can do that. But, uh, I need to ask him. We need to take a look at his diary. That's the biggest thing. It, Andrew does not mind doing Andrew, I don't want to speak for you, but I, from what he has told me, he does not mind doing this. Uh, but again, he has to take time out of his day to do it. Um, and we don't want to just make this like a daily thing for him. Um, we want to make sure we're guys getting you your orders as soon as we can. And we want to make sure that we are moving along so that maybe we can do more live stream orders eventually. Of course, I can tell that. Uh, the fans are letting you know right now, Andrew, that they really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate that you're saying it, and I appreciate that you... Thank you. I mean, I'm sure if you didn't like it, wouldn't it? I mean, it'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, that would suck, wouldn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> to Camilla Bombette at 264. Um, Raphael's best pickup line. Well, I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. Can pick that up. Light. I've grown quite fond of you, you know. So this is for Camilla Bombette, uh, Lilith, Darling, Haley, Falconbridge, Kaylee, and Lowe. You guys are on deck. Um, that'll get us to about 50 orders for today. Uh, Andrew, I am going to be annoying and shove in one more for Teresa just because she's been waiting a, uh, a minute now, and I just want to make sure we get to her just so that she's not that's, waiting too long. That's okay. So Lilith, Darling, Lilith, Darling, Lilith, Darling, Lilith. Johnny. Um, MCXCI, I actually, I, I don't have that information, unfortunately. Um, it's care, well, it's, it, People have written care of my agent in London, Sharkey and Co. Simon Sharkey, 
which is Lexington. I can't remember the number, but it's Lexington Street, Soho. If people want a, you know, physical post. But as I say, they, 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 they don't want me coming in because I trashed the place. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, Ken, uh, Le Lexington Street, so in Soho. Right, so I'm writing, this is to Lilith Darling, Lilith Darling. It's written your card, Lilith Darling. Are you making the cocktails? Um, is it, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, is, it, is it Lilith, comma, darling, or is it just Lilith Darling? I think it's like Lilith Darling, so I think it's like Lilith Darling, like Lilith, a, a pet. Darling. darling. It's fine, I'm just, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you, Come on, carry on. No, no, you're good. So Cooney, Little Vampling, um, and Teresa, you guys are both next to each other. Uh, Mal, can you tell me which one you are? Um, is it Mallory? Yeah, okay, I figured. Uh, I don't want to leave you guys on the back burner. So let me see how Andrew's feeling. I, only because Teresa's just been asking since day one. I want to make sure we get to them. Um, if we have time, I can see if we can shove it in. Um, but we'll have to kind of keep it a little brief. Uh, otherwise, you guys will be getting videos. I mean, what would you prefer? To Lilith, darling, your beloved, the devil you do, uh, Raphael. To Lilith, darling, your beloved, the devil you do, your beloved, the devil you do. 266. 266. Thank you so much, this Lilith, darling. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hayley Falconbridge, shout out to myself and Caitlin Campbell. Please, Caitlin Campbell, so can another Campbell here. Oh my God, he's from right. enemies of Scotland. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Got another shout out for Soup here. Please write, hope it always burns you in the end, little mouse. Yeah, well, you know. Script writers knew what they were doing, didn't they, on this game? Did they? Well, why? Well, because they wrote good lines, right? <laughs> Hope. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. Okay, so this is to Hayley Fogg. Concentrate, yeah. Um, so Cooney and Mal, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, for right now, we'll, I'll just shove Teresa in at the, at the last one there. And then I'll talk to Andrew. I'll see when we can possibly get something else in the books. Um, it's just going to be a bit of a wait. If you guys would rather just kind of get the video and just get it out of the way, let me know. Uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and DM me for that. <laughs> no, it's fine. We deserve it, Yvonne. Don't worry. Um, if you want to just DM me, and if you want to just get the video done, let let us know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see if we can try and get something on the books maybe like a few weeks from now. But again, no guarantees how soon it's going to be. So I don't want to leave you guys up in the air. That's that's more my concern here. Okay, no no worries then. I'll, I'll ask him. I said something for my review. Oh, Jesus. What did you guys send me? Hang on.
So I'm shouting out to Haley, Haley Falkenbridge, and Caitlin Campbell. I'm shouting out. I'm really shouting. Haley, here you go. Hope it always burns you in the end. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. There we go. Oh, uh, hello. That's uh, yeah. That not not at all. Uh, I think Andrew doesn't mind doing that. Kalia, this is Kalia, or Kalia. Two seventy. Um, Kelly says, "Please sign it with what's better than a W. You don't know a W. Do thank you so much." Thank you. Okay, yeah. What's better than a devil you don't know? A devil you do. Okay. Two seventy one is to low. Hello. Hello, love. Mr. Wincott, may you please write one of your favorite Raphael quotes and add a heart doodle with a little message from Harlop as well. Well, I mean, that's quite a lot to, it's quite a lot low to get in to this but um what what um
Sorry for the silence, folks. I'm just I was reading something. Um, all right, uh, Andrew, this is going to mark uh, number 50. So we're going to do Teresa after this, if that's OK with you. OK. Um, is, is there a has anybody got a harlot quote? Love, uh, like, yes. a little message a from but he, he says a message, but that doesn't necessarily mean a quote, does it? Um, it doesn't necessarily. Yeah. You can just put whatever you think Harlow would put, but I think I'll, I'll see. Anyone got a good quote? There's a lot of Harlow love out there, Missile tells us. It's her favorite character. A lot of people love Harlow. Yeah. A lost little mouse is running through the house. Very good. If a lost little mouse were running through this house, I don't give that, <laughs> that mouse much chance tonight. <laughs> there we are. Um, own a heart, too. Uh, gosh. Oh yeah, people so, have been asking to do a Harlop quote this whole time. I, I keep forgetting to ask. <laughs> Duke and Oscar on the hunt. Yeah, Samantha. Well, they're not actually. Duke's here, and I heard Oscar come in, but you never know. They're always on the hunt somewhere, of course, doing something. When they're they're either sleeping, getting ready for the hunt, or they're on the hunt. To low, what's better than a double you don't know? A double you do. Uh, which is, um, well, you know, it's one of, you know, it's one of my favorite quotes. And um, at the bottom here, a lost little mouse is running through the house. And there's a signature of a harlot and a heart and a heart. So there we go. That is, um, that is low. So what are we on now? What are we on? Uh, oh, Campbell. Yeah, so if you can just scroll down to 280 to where it says Teresa and can you just get though we're just gonna get that one done and then uh, up to you if you want to keep going so 280 yeah 280. oh yeah Teresa how do I highlight it oh, I you just need to click it yeah right. And they also have a uh, they also have a message if you want to play that. Oh yeah, they do. What now? Uh, up to you. We can be private. Is it private? Um, is, Teresa, do you mind if we do it on stream? What, what would you prefer? I'd say go ahead and we're going to print. Feel free to watch it in the stream. That's what they that's what they said. Um, someone says, please do harlot voice. <laughs> well, there's not really much more to say about harlot, is there? Raphael with a twist, a little twist of lemon, a little, little dash of rum. Just that hint of... Teresa. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I've just marked that as complete. So that was not. And do you need me to bring that back up? Back. Uh, give me one sec. I can. Sorry. Grab it. Can you, can you, do you how, do you, how do you un, unclick complete? Uh, there's a way to do it, but, um, let me see. 
I think I can uncomplete it. Give me one sec. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? One second, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we Stone go. says we're eating today. Does that mean get a move on? No, no, it means the opposite. <laughs> it means, okay. uh, it means, uh, means, oh, damn, we're getting what we want today. Thank God. Oh, I see. All right, Teresa's back up. You probably, uh, you should probably refresh the page. Um, refresh the page. Refresh the page. Um, and now go to what? Uh, so just go back down to 280. It should still be, it should be back there now. Okay, sorry, let's get a signing view. Uh, Teresa, thank you, thank you, Campbell. Very good. Sure. I know you did that. Um, so I'm playing the playing the message, right? Yeah. Just doing it. Not playing. It's not playing. No, oh, hang on. Oh wait, no, it is Hi, not. Andrew. Hi, Andrew. I hope you're doing good. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for following me that's insane and thank you so much for helping me a lot through january to february it means so much to me oh that's really a lovely message did you all hear that were you listening yes we could all hear that well you shouldn't have been <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely um Okay, so we're going to write, this is, um, this is for Teresa. Uh, <laughs> uh, please write something motivating and please say, Teresa, you are a very good girl, my little mouse, on the stream. Teresa. You are a very good girl, my little mouse. Can you also draw something back, uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 related? Okay. Peak, peak, calm. You need to calm the fuck down right now. <laughs> you guys need to chill out. <laughs> No, not again. I'm gonna get I'm gonna start getting tagged in these.
that's a good one to end on. <laughs> Check out what they wanted. What is that line, my blood burns hotter than, is it my blood burns hotter than wine and whiskey? Is that, is that the quotation? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, I think someone quoted that earlier. Yeah. Screaming potato, uh, just I'm ask for it on your friend and uh, apparently he'll just do it. <laughs> what? Sorry? No, no, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm addressing chat. <laughs> No, he's he's fine with it. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the direct quote is, "My blood burns hotter than wyvern whiskey." Thank you. Teresa, my blood burns hotter than wine and whiskey. You can get that in the light there. From uh, Teresa, it says, thank you, Andrew. You're amazing. Hope you're all right uh, and take care. Thank you so much. And you. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hope that's inspirational. Wine and whiskey always inspires me. So, uh, what are we doing now, Campbell? How, what are we, what are we, uh, is there more? Uh, yeah, there's more. Uh, we, we still got plenty to do, um, but we, we've hit 51 orders now. So, uh, up to you if you want to keep going or if we want to wrap here, because I know it's getting late where you are. It's about 11, 12. It's, it's 12, it's 10, 12, but the clock's oh, going Oh, right, forward. I keep forgetting. Clock, it's seven hours now. going forward, so we're losing an hour. If we've done 51, that's probably quite a good place to. Um, yeah, well, to, was there something else you wanted me to do or to talk about or to read or something? Uh, no, so what what we can do now is, so I, I'd let them know, like, uh, you know, we'll probably do like uh, personal videos for, you know, most of the rest of these VIPs that we still have left. Um, however, some of them are saying they're fine waiting like a few weeks at least uh, if you do want to go live again, but we can address that off stream, whatever your decision is there. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, well, oh, yeah. I mean, to, sorry, there was the one thing. Uh, someone wanted to see if they could get you. Let me, hello, I'm pulling it up now. Give me a sec. Uh, oh, God, I'm going to butcher this. I, th I think this is ta 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 Tagalog. I don't know how to say it. Uh, it's Filipino. Uh, someone wants to know if you could say, Ella, you're going to you're gonna kill me for mispronouncing this. I'm so sorry. But um, at Eon Sinta Ang Wakas. 
And I can... Tagalog, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the private chat and, uh, you know, you let me know if you can read this out. If this is nothing dirty. This is a... At Eon. Yeah, what am I reading? I mean, you know, it could be... Uh... Guys, don't laugh at me. I'm trying. <laughs> this is why my Filipino friends make fun of me. Oh, I see. It's Filipino for, and that love was that. Ah, and that love was that in Filipino. Okay, thousands uh, in, wouldn't. Do you, see the, do you see the private chat? Might be on the right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it gone? It was there. Uh, where have you have you written? Have you posted? Where have you Have you posted? Um, where is it? It's in the private chat. You gotta. You might have to find it. In but the here, private I'll, chat. Let me copy it. I can put it in the public chat and put it on screen for you. Where is the private chat? Uh, I don't know where it's on your screen. So just to make it easier, I'm just gonna put it here. Can you see that on the screen? Okay. At Yon Sinta Ang Wakas. Ang, is that right? I think so. Ion, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ion Sinta Ang Wakas. At Ion Sinta Wang. At Ion Sinta Ang Wakas. And that love was that. At Ion Sinta Ang Wakas. In. Um, Ilo, was that good? There's a black cat here staring into my soul system, sir. <laughs> underscore smiley. Um, enough of that going on here. Um, you, w were you happy with it? Yeah, no, they liked it. They liked it. Do, do, do they like it? Do they want it in character in Raphael's character? Uh, it's heavily I, accented. It's thank you. Give, so it, a, give it a shot. With it. Give it a shot. What you mean? It's accented with my accent. Yeah, it's heavily British accented, but uh, the, it's good enough apparently. Well, tell, tell me. You have to tell me how to read it in a, with a Filipino accent. Okay, Elo, can you give me can you give me with, the uh, breakdown of the pronunciation if you can? Sinta is darling, apparently. At Eon, Sinta, Ang Wakas. At Eon, Sinta, Ang Wakas. <laughs> So Raphael would say, uh, Harlot would say, at Yon Sinta and Wackers. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we're probably we're probably doing. We're pro there, every Filipino is probably laughing at both of us right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, even if I could pronounce it in the Filipino way, it would still probably. Uh, probably need a week or a month to perfect anything uh, like um, perfection or anything resembling it. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm calling in. I'm calling in an emergency contact. Andrew, give me two minutes and then we, I promise we will wrap this. <laughs> give me one sec. Wait, Chip, what offering? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry, I missed the offering. Some people are saying it's good, and I, but I don't know what the joy. They're talking about that they can't, I can't believe my Filipino is good, so I've never spoken a word of it. Uh, 
and don't have any clue as to the pronunciation. But, you know, I'll try it. I've tried it. I've tried it. You know, I've tried it. Hang on. All right. My, my first Filipino friend didn't pick up, so now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta call the other. <laughs> This motherfucker, sorry, this this bad person, he, he just hung up on me. Um, all right, well, guys, I think that's the best we're getting, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think given the, the magnitude of the task, that's probably the best you're going to get from me tonight. Uh, someone says the Filipinos, uh, Aaron says the Filipinos are screaming. No, the Filipinos are screaming. Screaming with what? Screaming with uh, screaming laughter, is screaming with, with, with laughter and all. entertainment and play. Oh wait, wait, wait! Hey, uh, am I am I getting getting you at a bad time? Oh, nice. Without me, cool. Um, I got portos today. Anyway, uh, sorry. The the lang the correct way to say the language is Tagalog. How is it? Tagalog. Can you? It, so I'm on stream right now with an actual talent, and can you, uh, every Filipino person in chat is trying to get him to say this, but we need to know how to say it right. Can you help me out? <laughs> I thought I thought you did. I did. They didn't pick up. Okay. So again, I'm I'm doing this so wrong. So it's at Eon Sinta Ang Wakas. Fuck, he doesn't even know what it means. All right, all right. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. <laughs> Bye. Um, all right. You know what? I think I'm just embarrassing myself further, so I think we should just leave it there. <laughs> if if Chick's out there and it's their birthday, because I'm looking at this on the chat, happy birthday. If it's yes. not your birthday, I'm sorry, but it should be. So happy birthday, Chip. Have a fantastic day. Or morning or evening or whatever's left of it. Go and celebrate. Go and have a great time. But happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chip. Sorry I missed you earlier. I've just by chance seen it. Um yeah, yeah, you're being a hit for bad language, Campbell. You know, there is uh, the swear <laughs> jar is going around. I know, I have a bad habit. I've got an American sailor's mouth. It's uh I got to be more professional on these streams, you know, by calling my yeah. Filipino friends and asking them how to pronounce <laughs> basic sentences. Yeah, ask them how to swear in Filipino. The, the cats are—they're they're appalled at your language. You know, they're just not used to it. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I think that about That's does it. <laughs> I think I think we're good. Okay. Alrighty. Um, well, thank you for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll put myself back on stream here. Give me one sec. Cats there are you. absolutely disgusted. <laughs> Let's get a final view on the cats. <gasps> Look at the disdain. The, cat, the, cat's <laughs> the absolute disdain on his face. Yeah. Is that Duke? language, Campbell. You really mustn't use that <laughs> language in front of me. I might have to go and decapitate a mouse. And then where would we be? <laughs> That's Look good. At those claws. Look at those claws. They're getting ready to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You've had enough of this. I'm off. <laughs> Time to be a feral predator. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man. Now then. I like, the, I like that you gave them a personality. That's good. Oh my god, there is a mouse. Look, look. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. That's 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 my next my next You're task. Good. You're all good. You're all good. That is that is my next task. Yeah. Yeah, little oh, mouse. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is 
you know, really, it's not, it's, it's not all, it's not all cuddly creatures around here, you know. It's That's feral predators, apex predator time, you know. Um, I tell you, I'm lucky to wake up alive every morning. <laughs> They're plotting against you. That's us on the floor, says someone. Robin, Robin Cullen says, that's us on the floor. Uh, I, listen, it's, if I could do anything to stop them. But, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 not, it's not pleasant. Um, you know, little mice don't stand a chance in the House of Hope. There you go. You didn't know what you were letting yourself in for. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to end on that uh, rather desperate. That was a perfect ending. That was a perfect way to end, I think. Yeah, well, it's impossible to. That's really the end of the. That's really, you know, where do you go after that? No, really, I, I don't think you can. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap us here. I think that's a great way to <laughs> end the stream. Um, I'll see you guys and, soon. Um, I'll be I'll be on my Twitch soon. People, uh, people don't believe that's the real mouse. They're saying I thought that a real I, mouse? you know I thought it was a toy mouse for a second, and I was like, no way. Well, they're toys to them. Uh, that, that having seen what I saw yesterday, my are toys to them, uh, and uh, yeah, um, it's 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 tough, but that that's the world they they inhabit. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah, sorry about that, but there we go. No, no reason to apologize. You're good. Alrighty, guys, um, we're gonna say good night now. Uh, thank you for joining us on the stream. We'll see if we can get a new one set uh, pretty soon. Otherwise, uh, expect some videos coming your way soon. Have a, right, have a great, have a great uh, holiday weekend. Have a happy Easter if, if it's Easter. You're celebrating a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Amazing. All right, you guys. Have a good night.